you guys. It's Carla Vasquez here with Carla V. Thinks Out Loud, episode 10. We're on episode 10. Yes. Doing a remote location thing, and I've got an awesome guest. Been trying to get you for a while. We've got Robert Buck D. Gibson. Yes, here. this is nice. Look at this, yes. man. We're doing it. 10 episodes in, and 10. your outline looks better than ours, almost 100 in. <laughs> this is my house, guys. It's like, cool. No, we're kidding. like in the middle of Carlsbad Cavern <laughs> with Hennessy and weed everywhere. And I, I walked in here. I was like, wow, this is nice. No, I like it. I dig we're it. I dig it. classy over here. I dig it's it. It's the daytime. I didn't even want to sit down. I was like, I'm going to mess up something, man. You need to have some plastic over this or something. <laughs> they did have a sticker like reserved for something. I'm like, am I allowed to say it's it? like, no, oh, that's yours. Yeah, it's mm-hmm. your stuff. Mm-hmm. We are here at Slow Burn Coffee Shop. Yes. Um, Great place downtown, uh, Eighth and Mountain. So I guess maybe like Old Townish. Yeah. I don't know where yeah. any part on the, is. On the brink of Old Town. Yeah, yeah, the brink. I live close. I like it here. I have some friends that work here. Austin Kelly, shout out to them. Thanks for Slow Burn for letting us record here. We kind of took over their back area. It is a pre-recorded episode, as you guys can see. I'm uh, when you guys are watching this, I'll be in Tucson, but I'll probably be watching live and commenting with you guys. Yes, um, yes, yes, yes. But yeah, Buck's here. Glad to have him. I know you're a really busy guy. Oh yeah, oh yeah. You but I gotta make time for you. Come on now. You come. You oh, came thanks. on our show plenty of times. I love that you and Larry link together. Yes. You know, Larry's a man. He's going to make it look good, Dude. sound good. Well, not saying you didn't already. Just make <laughs> no. it better. Spruce it up. Yeah, he's got so, all yeah. the mirrors and the smokes. And yeah, the he's, doing, he's doing better over here than with us. <laughs> look at this, man. We're all in the Taj Mahal and stuff. Right? Like, he's no, really coming playing. into himself this No, I'm Larry. just kidding. No, <laughs> no, for real. It's fun. But you no, I love doing You're doing I love the hustle doing. now. Yeah. You're doing the podcast now. Yeah. Are you still doing the uh, like public like, no, TV stuff? No, man. I had, to, I had to let that go just okay. because it was too much. It was too much. And, you know, I, if I had to pick, I'm never going to stop the podcast. Yeah. And the radio was like something that was just fell out of the sky and I was like there's no mm-hmm. way I'm passing an op- opportunity mm-hmm. still doing stand up because I don't want to spread myself too thin by still doing the uh, what was it called damn that's messed up Buck and Shandine show Buck that's what Shandine. it was called yeah it was called the Buck and Shandine show when she would show up that's what I would put at the end but anyway <laughs> Yeah, I'm talking, talking shit. This, I'm talking shit. You always talk, you always talk shit about <laughs> her, though. Shit. <laughs> yeah, man. Two minutes in. Yeah, yeah, it's about yeah. Time. Yeah, it's about Shandine time. and her conspiracy theories. and. She got real into those. Nah, man. She's like, <laughs> she's down in a super wormhole, man. I don't even, I can't, you can't even have a regular conversation with her. I don't want to. Did she get that far? Because I have friends oh, yeah. like that, too, that are, have gotten so far in the conspiracy theories. Yeah, it's hard to have a conversation. I'm like, yeah. come out of your whole Yeah, like, yeah, come to real life. There's a whole real life yeah, out there. Yeah, Even yeah. if there's conspiracy happening, don't let that rule your whole existence, right. basically, or else. Well, it's just, well, I, I love Shandine. She has a great following, but it's like, I don't, I look at that as entertainment. I don't live by it, and I definitely want to. Don't want to talk about it all the time. So right, yeah, that's yeah. what it was. So. That's what it is. But now you're doing 101.3. Yeah, 101.3. The hustle. The hustle. Look, the it's ingrained hustle. in my head. Yeah, 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 yeah. Every time you say 101.3, I've got to say. Yeah, the hustle. I have to say yeah. it. It's hustle. like it's like it's a. Uh, I have a Tourette's tick or something. <laughs> so it's like you're on 101.3. I'm like, yes, the hustle. <laughs> you mean the hustle. <laughs> <laughs> you know what's so crazy <laughs> about this? I, I was going to tell you this too, Larry, in the in the group chat. I was getting a breakfast burrito yesterday, and you know I have my name as my license plate. Oh, so I already had it before any of this, y'all. I, right. I've always wanted a vanity plate. Uh-huh. So it says Buck D on the back. I'm in the drive through Someone's yelling. I have my music up. They go, Buck D, 101.3, Buck D. And I was like, what is oh, that coming that's from? Weird. That's fucking weird. Like, and it was, and it, was, it was two ladies behind me, never seen them before. And they were, I want to say they were in... Uh, Older 30s, mid 40s. Yeah. And, you know, they were like, no, no, no problem. We're just fans. That's we listen right. to the hustle. And I was like, yo, that's, that's what's up. Awesome. That's that what's up. I had, to, I had to get out of the car and I, I had some, uh, mm-hmm. some hustle. We have cards, you know, oh, and I right. just gave them to them. I was like, that's man, whenever y'all want to hear something, just let me know. Aww. Yeah, Noon so to I, three. Was, I was listening to it on the way here. They were playing, uh, um, uh, Good music, like some. Mac- well, they had you some. Have, I like ice, that. They had some ice Cube on there. Well, I'm gonna tell you what. I'm gonna tell you a little secret. So, on our on the midday mayhem, each one of us, me, Rusty, and uh, Sonny, mm-hmm. we upload the shows or whatever. So what I do is when I upload load my shows, I scrap all the music, and I put uh, like what 30 songs in there. 
Because so you got the inside you shit with um, with uh, Casual One. Yeah, right. Yeah, he right. gave you all that. Yeah, shit, Casual man. One just gave me a bunch of shout out to Casual One, man. This guy, like this guy, one. I call him the hip hop historian of Albuquerque, maybe oh, in New Mexico. Sweet. He has all the music. And then, you know, since they gave us creative control. And I'm like, not kidding. I'm not kidding. This guy no, has everything. met. Everything. Well, not only does he have everything, but he's met a he's shit. Met, hundreds. He's hundreds. got wow. hundreds. He's got pictures. He's gotten wow. albums, signs, signatures, yeah, posters. Any, anyone big, mm -hmm. anyone obscure, he's got it. So Dude, I went awesome. to him and I was like, yo, man, let me get some music from you. And mm -hmm. what I did was I just took his whole library and basically downloaded it. Okay, so when I, I upload, you do that. Yeah. when I upload the show, I just make sure from noon to three, you know, we have a regular playlist. Mm -hmm. But hip hop is so big, you know, you're going to miss oh, some stuff. Yeah, so I'm like, so look, I'm putting, within hip -hop, yeah, yeah. I'm putting anything in there mm -hmm. from, from early Run DMC all the way till now, so that's I do like no. The I song they were playing it. was "I Get Around." I get around. Yeah, yeah Tupac. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So, if anybody didn't know, I don't know if you didn't know. People, a lot of people think that we do the show live. I'm gonna tell y'all a secret. We don't. We don't have time for that. Uh, More smoke and mirrors. You know. So, but <laughs> we do. A, we do a good job. And being radio, it's not like you can do it live anyway. There has probably more editing and things. Yeah. Anyway, say, and put uh, it. It's in plus to sit there from noon to three every yeah, day. Yeah, that's uh, a lot. And just listen to me and be like, Yeah. yeah this way you're able to just do. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'll be free yeah. and stuff so like that. Then because Casual One has that music, you can play it. Because I know even with like karaoke stuff, is like right. if it's not in a certain whatever, you can't touch that music. Yeah, and you're talking about of, the licensing. Yeah, and a lot of radio. Stations, it feels like they only play the same 20 yeah. to 50 songs ever in their existence because that's all they can get their hands on. Or well, it, what like, happens how are you is, able to play more of a all variety? right, because the, the best thing about 101.3 to hustle is it's locally owned, mm -hmm. it's not a oh. it's not like an iHeart, it's not some big cl conglomerate in New York or Houston mm -hmm. or anywhere or LA, it's right here. So we have the owner, shout out to Mr. Don, he lets us have creative control of what we do. Um, but you still, you can't just rip stuff off of YouTube or wherever right, like that. Yeah. You, you, it has to be from the album okay. and waveform, stuff like that. Edited, of course. Okay, so, gotcha. So, and, and then, so what I, what I can do is from noon to three, it's, it's not in our rotation. It's a one-off. It's like having a local artist come on doing an interview and they uh -huh. play their song. It's not like it's going to be... Ah, each and every time. Interesting. But Dude, so, that's smart. yeah. I like that you like put the effort in to get some different stuff yeah, on there. Yeah, man. Yeah, there's ways of getting around that license. It's, mm -hmm. it's always yeah. a way to get around it. Well, and so, way, guys. Mm -hmm. Carla, yeah. I'm like you. I'm like Larry. If my name is attached to something, if my if I'm on, I want it to be good. Yeah. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I don't. You know, with music, with hip hop, you know, you have a lot of people complain. You can get too deep. You can get too generic. But if you meet that middle, mm -hmm. everybody's gonna be happy. Yeah. Everybody's going to be happy. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah, that makes sense. But like that. you said, we don't want to do, especially not on the Midday Mayhem. I don't want you to turn to it or you just happen to listen. You'd be like, man, every time I turn here, I hear the same song. It's like, ah, uh, nah. Or every radio station. Like, sometimes I'll change radio stations because I do, like, Uber Eats and I'll get tired of, like, oh, yeah, picking yeah, music. Yeah, yeah. And sometimes I'm using my phone for, like, whatever other things. So I'm like picking and I'll literally turn to radio stations and they have the same, same song, song playing. Huh? Oh, yeah. Same they, fucking uh, yeah. song. I'm like, yeah. Am I, of, the, his radio station can't doesn't do that because they're not a part of the clear channels. And exactly. Right. Okay. That's what it is. Yeah. It's independent. It's mm -hmm. local. That's why we're able to do mm -hmm. so much mm -hmm. that we can do. I love it, man. I do. That's awesome. That's a great gig there. Yeah. Um, speaking of music, if you guys hear any music in the background or anything or any. They can't hear none of that. They can't hear, Nobody Larry, can hear anything. Well, well they, can hear, hear the, they can hear white noise. But, okay. If you can hear yeah. white noise. Sorry. The coffee shop is, is yeah. louder than and, this. And the black noise is me talking, y'all. Black noise is me talking. I told Carla when you text me. I was like, yeah, he's on his way. And I was like, should I let the front people know that a black guy is coming in? Yeah. <laughs> they don't think he's robbing the place. No, 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 <laughs> first one that's ever come here. Sir, it's a new you, shop, guys. Can you take your mask off and your hat so we can make sure that we're safe? <laughs> yeah. yeah. No mask for you, sir. Do you have gold teeth under your mask? I don't think we've had those here before. <laughs> Are you lost, sir? Can we help you find directions? <laughs> so by the time this comes on, you've already have done the, uh, what is it? Oh, the, yeah, the Sweekend yeah. stuff. 
Did Friday. we have a re- the yeah. battle UCF. royale? The battle. What a, what, UCF. UCF. Battle. Yeah. UCF. So you, last night I had Troy on the podcast. Yeah. So well, you mean last week? Yeah, Troy. Last yeah. week, guys. Don't you hate that? Like, what is time? I, because of all this, I don't know what day to say it is. It's like I try not I just, to say like, the day. I just like confusing. I'm like, yeah. today is Thursday, but yesterday was also this day. You know, <laughs> you know what? Yesterday so, so was the time, Tuesday for you guys. So by the time <laughs> this is on, UCF would have already taken place. Yeah. So UCF took place, and then the uh, so we'll see. Yeah. The outcome. I'll there. be there. I'll be there. Hopefully um, by the yeah, see, I I'll told you. Are you I'm going? Be there. Yeah. Because yeah. so okay. well, Troy said something to me about a month ago about um, judging it, but he didn't say anything else. Judge. All I know is okay, all I know much. is I'm in a group chat, and I yeah. feel like if I'm in a group chat, that means I should be oh, there. Oh, you're in that group chat too. I haven't yeah. even seen who the members are yeah. in there. Okay. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So. I, so I, out of it. It I, just says <laughs> it just says UCF people. Like I look at the group chat, but yeah. I only see what they're posting. I don't see yeah. who's like the members. Yeah, are. you're like me. But but I just <laughs> didn't want to. I didn't want to be in the group chat and know all the stuff, and then not show up, and then someone be like, "Oh, he's too Hollywood. He didn't oh. show up." No, nah, nah. no. I'm make, I'm, I'll be there. Okay, so you're judging that more in my favor. Just kidding. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> no, Ian Ty will be there. You're, you're friends with him, huh? Yeah. Uh, just, just non-biased judge. No, no, no. Y'all know me. <laughs> I I'm know. A, He's honest. I got my boo voice on. I'm going to be a judge that boos if it's bad. <laughs> boo! Right, I got, Negative two! <laughs> got my Apollo pants on. <laughs> I'm ready. I'm ready. For I want to come with a scorecard, man. Just to throw you up should. my numbers. I want to do that. That'll be dope. Like I want to come with a Dude, scorecard. One to ten. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I want some negatives though. Just negative like pie. A, negative pie. Just uh. get one of those mini like dry erase boards yeah, yeah. and write your own oh, every time. That's what I'm gonna do. Right. My daughter has one. Or oh, she has a little chalkboard. I'm Make gonna bring up your either own one. Score yep. every just be like <laughs> negative. <laughs> I have hundred. <laughs> I am both excited and scared. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, we'll see by, by next week what happens. You do good at those battles. Though. Yeah, she beat I, me. Yeah, yeah I she didn't beat me. See, I've said it before, but the you last one. You actually started. You actually gave you her gave the gun. You gave me a lot of. We've talked about this before, but you gave me a lot of like street cred here as uh, as a comedian. That's good. Um, because I. Well, 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 I wouldn't say street cred because. This comedy scene doesn't have street cred. No. Yeah. <laughs> cred in yeah. the scene? No, I don't, I don't know. Whatever, at least you made me not seem like I had boots. You, you look like you so had balls. Was, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, like, I know what you mean. I well, know what you mean. Even yesterday, Trey was saying like he doesn't like to get people on UCF until like they're really ready or they've been in about a year. They've got some material. But I was three months in, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Three to four months in when I got on there. And then... Everybody after that, even like Josh Fournier, they're like, yeah, I knew you were fun, but we didn't realize you could do, you could turn on like that. Well, see, you could like, because some of that stuff I wrote and some was just you and me going yeah, off you, and, and, and See, like here, here's fun. the thing about so comedy. There's a difference. There's no set time when you're ready. Yeah. You just true. go. Like, and I think that's where a lot of, got, I got a lot of backlash from the comedy community, com- comedy scene here, because they were like, oh, you just came out of nowhere. No, this is a, you just you didn't just know. Good. You had You just talent, didn't know. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I, I don't. I don't think that should be a rule of thumb. It's like, how long you been doing it? Uh, mm-hmm. Nah, it should be if, if the crowd tells you. Now, that's, it's that's one called, thing. That's called laughs. fucking jealousy is what that's called. Yeah, I just feel Some like it, you do, that's true. You I believe it too. You feel like, you're mo- like when you start moving up quicker than other people have been doing it longer, getting yeah. more whatever. Like, I mean, I'm sure you had that when you first started, but oh, you, yeah. you feel like not bad well, about it, but it's like, are people have like, you know, a target on my back? Like what's happening well, here? Well, here, here's like, the rule of thumb to that. My uncle used to say, I had an uncle down south, he used to say this, and when I was younger, I never knew what he meant until I got older. He'd be like, you can't catch no fish looking at my line. Yeah. And I'd be yeah. like, I, when I was younger, I was like, what is he, we ain't fishing? What is, and then mm-hmm. I always, he was like, you can't prosper paying if attention to somebody him. else. Fuck like, everybody man. does, everybody has yeah. their lane, everybody does different things. I do, I things do though, speeds. myself, as you know, I do look at other people's shit and it's, try and raise the bar yeah. a little yeah, more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, for sure. And I think I have raised the bar. Well, with, with comedy, I <laughs> yeah, know you... Yeah, you have. And have. I know with comedy, oh, yeah. you know, you Lays found out this is like comedy is like rappers, man. It's always beefing and jealousy and constant. I try beefing. to stay she's, above she's, it. She's, she's, <laughs> uh, why is she? I'm not going to book her because she's funnier than me. And uh, that's yeah, the problem. Lo- we were talking about, yeah. That's the problem with comedians booking shows. They, and if, especially if they're on it, mm-hmm. they don't want someone that they feel like, I'm not saying everyone, but they are some who feel like, I'm not going to put somebody on this because they're going to steal my shine. That's who they're going to be talking about. It's mine, mine, mine. It's crazy, bro. Right. It's crazy. They're headlining. They don't want people who could potentially have better sets than them right. before the com- them coming up. But if you're good, it's like just give each Even last night, like I had an all-ladies show and Jess Wood came on before me. And like the day before, I was like, man, I should... 
should have come after you or should have come before you just yeah. would. You're just like so much more experienced. She's like, girl, I'm going to set up that energy for there you. And you like, whatever. I was like, you know what? You're right. Cause after Jess Wood comes on, she's like empowering to me. And I feel like I could just say whatever and there be you like go. really whatever. So we worked out the lineup worked out so good last night. It was yeah. really fun. It flowed really well. Steph she, hosted. She's, 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 um, she's the type of that. Uh, she's such a have that wave for you. You just get yeah. on it and ride it. She's such a she's sweetheart. A, but she's having a hood. She's hood. Dude. She's so good. Dude. I want to do something with her. Yes. Yeah, but I, she's do some shows. I want to do something with her. Yeah. She's More a, than most she's people street, here. She's got street credit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, you know, That's what's needed, people. man, yeah. because a she, lot she's of... She's real with people, too, there's, which I like. A lot of people like to compartmentalize comedy uh, crowds. Nah, man, you got to hit everything. You got to be able... You know what I mean? You got to be yeah. able to touch and make people feel like you're bringing them into your world and then you're stepping into theirs yes. as well. So Yeah, instead of it, because there were times where I was like, should I change my set because the crowd looks more like this or more like this? And yeah, there's some things that you should throw Sometimes. in for whatever, but don't, I learned not to take out the stuff that I think Hell they no. might not, you know, like you or whatever. Because it's, yeah, I'm you being be me, you. then they can see that they come into my world. Maybe they're getting a different perspective they've never seen before. And right. that's comedy. There you go. You know, I can't yep. just tell them everything they've done all day. Like they come for an escape almost. Exactly. Um, yeah, yeah. You're like taking fun. them on a journey, yeah. taking them somewhere they've never been. Mm -hmm. That's what it is. And so, like, going back and talking about the booking stuff, like, we were, even yesterday, you know, people, Sometimes don't book certain people because, like, oh, they think they're better. <laughs> you're, 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 you're looking at the epitome of that, right? So, yeah, <laughs> like, in town, do you think, and there could be different things going on. Because yeah, if yeah, somebody yeah. new were starting out, if I were to be starting to book a show, which I want to start doing that soon, yeah. to reach out to certain people. Now I know everybody, but if I was new and being like, oh, man, Buck D's out of reach because he's so good. He's in another whatever. So I'm not going to book him because he's going to say no. <laughs> you know what, though? We're all in Albuquerque. We're yeah, all in the nobody. same scene. There's nobody. no bigger. A show is a show. Nobody. And we all have to, like, ride together in a way like Neil said was it the tide rises if we're all together right. Right. so like I think people are scared to book people like you or reach out to even you know like Sarah or Amarie to do because Amarie's like I'm not doing that many shows it's like I think people are afraid to ask sometimes. yeah and well uh, afraid to can, ask and it jealous be, and it can be so many factors and well it, it's because all right I feel like I'm gonna use Kurt Fletcher right yes we like Kurt I don't understand if you're booking any comedy, legit comedy shows here in Albuquerque, and if Kurt Fletcher is available, why the hell yeah, is he, he never, not? He never gets that. Why Again, in the fuck too, is this man not people. the first person Same you reach out to? With like, Jess hasn't done that much, and she's like, crazy. you know what I mean? It's like the people of that caliber that are like, can do stuff other way, places, I think people are like, why would they want to be on our show? Or they're like, no, we're doing Albuquerque. Like, yeah, 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 you know, yeah. we're trying to get the newbies up. Or, well, I don't know. Uh, well, I think it comes in I phases. Like, you could do shows with up and comers, mm -hmm. people that are still trying to find a niche, or people that you feel are established, or it can be done, but a lot of people don't do it. I think we get into this mold of, hey, I've worked with this person. I like oh, yeah, working yeah. with them. The I'm going to continue to do it. Even accidental clicks. Yeah, yeah, and you see the same show just at different venues. Gotta stop yes. that shit. Like yes. we gotta stop it. Like That's it's it. it's it's guys um, that I haven't worked with that I really want to work with who are doing it before me. Mm -hmm. Luis Powell. I've always given him his props, man. Mm -hmm. This is one of the first people I saw do comedy here, and he uh, he he was like a low key inspiration. I was like, "That's what I'm talking about." Yeah, I love it. And. Kurt was another one. I finally worked with him in Alamogordo. It's crazy. I had to go Here to goes, fucking yeah, Alamogordo yeah. to work with Kurt Fletcher. That's crazy. <laughs> that's crazy. Like, and I just think yeah. that's what hurts the scene here. Um, I think we are we get in our own way. Um, mm -hmm. People always sure. paying attention to what everybody else has going on. For sure. And once we all get together, even, you know, a lot of people, when I start uh, doing stuff with Troy and you guys, like, you... You fuck with Troy? You fuck with Six Sons? Man, I don't know. Shit. All I know is I seen the dude. Mm -hmm. He, I, I met him. He came to, to Nexus when I had that shit. Yeah, he's killed well it. In Nexus. I don't know really the dude well personally. You know what I'm saying? But you like, know he's funny. I just know when I went to go see the guy, it was funny. Every time I saw him, he was funny. Mm -hmm. A little awkward, mm -hmm. but oh, he's that's, well. that's what it is. Uh, mm -hmm. I was telling when we had. Are oh, you talking about Troy Wilson? Yeah, right? yeah, 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 yeah. When I had when we had him on the show last night, I was. She was like, because we were, you know, we make a list of what we're going to talk about, just like we do on your show. Um, and 
I was. She was like the most. What'd you say? The most. Mo- he's been like voted most offensive. Most offensive. Most offensive. Yeah. Most offensive. yeah. And I was like, how's that go? Fucking like, bucks. Way Bucky? more way offensive. <laughs> and then she goes, well, he talks about like crazy shit. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. But but look, there's child. There's, yeah. there's, there's, shit. there's people <laughs> who, rape rape who will laugh at it. There's raped. people, if you can yeah, get it off, don't scene. censor yourself. Fuck no. So, and then another thing I want to talk about when it comes to this comedy shit, y'all, y'all done got me riled up now. No, I want to hear everything. There's, uh, look, look, y'all, it's okay to book me and Smitty and whoever else on the same show. Yeah, oh, yeah, it doesn't have to be one oh, black they guy. Think, they yeah. have we, one we, woman, we, we, one black guy. Yeah, one, we filled the yeah. black guy quota. We can only have so many charismatic black guys. Yeah, here. yeah. <laughs> and if you know, um, yeah. if you've seen me and Smitty, we've been on the same shows, we've been on different shows. We're not the same. Mm-hmm. We have our mm-hmm. different lanes. Oh, yeah, you guys are totally We're total different, but it's yeah. still funny. It's mm-hmm. just a different point of view, just like you probably get with the, oh, we got it. We feel the girl yeah, quota. We, we feel the yeah. woman comic quota. All the time. And I'm always, I got so used to coming in the middle of shows yeah, yeah, and yeah. not be an opener, not be a feature or headliner because they were like, one well, girl, you're going to split up the boys, which yeah, you yeah. get for like show running, sort of like get their mind like a little, you yeah. know. Switch it up, but yeah, we're usually now. There's been more shows where it's been like a couple of girls on and whatever. Right. But I don't know. Apparently, Revel was like, "Oh, we stole Hollow Spirits, the women's show, stole the Wednesday show idea." I was like, "There's shows. We can no, all have shows. It's, there's it's, enough space for everyone." There's, there's seven days a week. What yeah, are you talking? Seven and then everybody week, was like, "There's a shitload yeah. of people that live in Albuquerque." A lot of people won't go to this side of town because they don't live over there. Yeah. So, yes, it's cool to have different things and he, all the time. And then some of the dudes that I hang out with, they're like, you're so lucky that you have the women to, like, back you now. You guys are all friends. I'm like, yeah, because for so long, everybody was so, like, apart in the women's scene. They were, like, kind of, you know, we'd say hi, but whatever. Now we have Let's a camaraderie, which right. is rad. And the dudes are like, oh, you guys are trying to get over us. I'm like, whatever. We've had dudes on the last two shows. Smitty, yeah. like, Steph hosted last night. Yeah. You Let's know? get like, real, though. I, I know what you're going to say. But Look, I'm going to be real. This is Carla. <laughs> be real. Uh, speaks out loud. This I'm going to speak out loud. loud. Look, all right, for the, for the longest, the scene had some trash women doing comedy. Oh, wow. Well. Let's be real. Right now, y'all are killing the game. Yeah, this better. is the strongest <laughs> I've ever seen a the group of women here in Albuquerque. And this I is agree, before yeah. I did comedy. I'm not going to name any names, but we're, let's just be real. No, Y'all no, are no. killing yeah, it. Yeah. It's not that, Appreciate oh, it. we get all the women and let's just talk about pussy and no, it's not period like blood and shit. No, we're just kind of support- no, Yeah, we're just supporting yeah. each other yeah. like, through stuff, trying yeah. to, you know, whatever. And it's needed. Friends. It's needed. It is needed because, yeah, the, a lot of times women will quit too because they don't feel like there's camaraderie there. And I'm right. kind of a... Guys, girl, a bit of a part-time bro like Amory. So, yeah. you know, it doesn't... Uh, I always got in good with the guys, but then I started <laughs> to see a lot of the women come in. They're like, oh, this is too much. I don't know. I want to do comedy. But it's like, not even the guy's fault. It's just like they feel like yeah, yeah, small. Yeah. And they don't have yeah. that many friends in it right. and like whatever. Well, well let's be real. So when was the last time you saw a comedy show here where there may be three, three, two, three guys and one woman and the woman is the headliner? Oh, uh, not never. Exactly. Not very often. Exactly. And I those three guys will be fucking trash. Yeah. And the woman has to, I think it's like happened. you said, be in the middle. I think I've done like one show like that yeah. where I headline. But yeah, yeah usually, yeah, yeah, usually it's like another girl maybe headline. They're like, oh, we'll do two girls. Just two girls. Yeah, yeah, we'll yeah. do a we'll do a female sandwich. And you at the front and her at the end. I'm nah. trying to get, I'm trying to just do like headlining shit yeah, where yeah, it's yeah. not about me being a girl. Cause yeah, I do have some girl comedy, but I'm not going up there like man hating and like whatever, you know. <laughs> yeah. Most of it is just like self hating <laughs> or just like being like, you You're know, like, kind of down has the middle. Whoever a dick, raise your hand. Yeah. Now boo them, ladies. Yeah, I, hate like, you. I, damn. I hate you. I hate you. Like, I mean, it's funny, whatever. But yeah, your, I think your they're expecting has, A lot of the women comedians that are actually really funny are self-deprecating. Yeah, and they have yeah. a lot of different... Yeah. And we have a different styles. Like last night, even some of my friends, or a couple of friends went up, and they're like, yeah, we go to comedy shows all the time. They're like, this is one of the funniest ones we've gone to, not even just about women or anything. Like, you guys... What do you think so about... Uh, do you stay away from sexual jokes? No. No? I think... Do you know, at first I did for, like, the first couple of months. Why? But... Because I thought that I would be sexualized because it was already yeah. happening. And yeah. I was like, That's oh, gonna... they're going to think I'm just... Whatever. And then I remember like, even Royal being jokes, like... like Royal. Well, just any. Like, I'll have the dick-sucking joke or something. Oh, okay. Like, you yeah, know yeah, what I'm yeah. saying? I like, didn't down there really... Suck. I think I had one about, like, periods or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, like, not really. And then I remember even Royal being like, That's cool. You don't sex- do sexual jokes that much. But then I was like, you know what? Fuck that. Who gives like, a fuck? Then I just, like, came out just like, whatever. They, like, think I'm funny. Now I can say whatever yeah. after I like. Well, now the you've UCF got a shower head joke. 
Yeah, I have my shower head. Oh, yeah, yeah, I yeah. Lo- I have, like, squirting jokes. I have, Let like... Let that shit loose. Man. I have, like, a lot of <laughs> just silly ones. Look, I'm like, cut the camera. Let me like, hear this shit. No, just a lot of <laughs> silly shit about, you know. No, I, I feel like uh, guys are going to... We're going to sexualize women no matter yeah. what. As lo- if we're attracted, we're attracted. Yep. You can you can be, we can, can be like wearing even, a fucking quilt or a blanket. We'd be like, damn, look at that ass poking out. Like I was we even don't care. Patty. I <laughs> was like, <laughs> well, <laughs> yeah. I was questioning myself. Like I even told Patty one time, I was like, why is it that immediately I look right at a woman's tits? Yeah, because mm. yeah, I look at a woman's ass. Like, because the first, you're a pig. I I'm, like, I'm not. No, like, I do it too. Yes, though, we, are. Yeah. we are. We are. We yeah. are. What makes us a pig is we do, do we too. don't try to hide the shit. We just be like. Damn. And I don't do it like deliberately. It's, it's in your nature. Happen. It's like primitive. Yeah. It's in your nature. I do it all the time to girls too, and I'm like, yeah, yeah. Do it? I mean, because I'm queer, I like girl, whatever. Yeah. And I do it too, but I think I get away with it. And I'm like always like, yeah, because I look straight, and so they don't know well, yeah, that that's what I'm looking get away at. Because you're like, oh, she's looking at my bra. Or yeah, or something like that. But really, I'm just like, hey. Carla can fit into so many corners. She can like fit she's, in all she, of like it. I say, she can be the thick ass white girl who likes black dudes. <laughs> She can be the chick who likes chicks. Yeah. She can be the chick that you can bring who bring chicks. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Good wingman. <laughs> a good wingman. Yeah, like she can fit into all these That's little that. niches that everybody yeah. can't get like, into. I could look white. I could look brown. I could look Jewish. I don't know. She's all, I'm, I'm kind of sportsy. Hell yeah, yeah. Like she's everything. I can go out into nature for a while. I know how to hang out in Compton. I don't yeah, know. See, you know what I'm saying? I like metal. She I like. Can, I don't she can just go I like anywhere. It all. But that's also, I like up. having this is like, I don't know, talking to different people and because I but have I, a lot of different sides to me. But I think that's what's needed and that's what elevates your comedy because you're not just stuck. Once. And I think that's where a lot of people was doing me. They was like, oh, he just does jokes for black people. I'm like, there yeah, ain't enough black to people here a, to tell jokes to. The I, fuck? Think a lot like of a it I think a lot of it is the, I don't know, I think it. They're just intimidated by you. That's what I'm saying. It's like, are people just intimidated Fuck by them. the, like, not wanting to... <laughs> a lot of people are intimidated by me, too. Yeah, like, yeah. Fucking... Yeah, and you guys are, like, super soft teddy bears inside. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's just, look, man, you don't... I mean, we you... got daughters. Shit. Yeah, we... Yeah, hey, thank you. Dads. That's what it is. Girl dads. And sisters and all this other stuff. Yeah, I grew up with a sister. And sisters, so. yeah. But I always... And so did he, like, yeah. really close. Yeah. Let Way more friends. closer like, than me and my sister because yeah. they were in a fucked up situation. Yeah, real shit. That's right, you guys. Yeah. Yeah. So, like, um, damn, I, I lost my thought because Larry just went all sentimental and shit uh, on me. <laughs> no, I just don't understand. Oh, like, about uh, you not getting into other comedy shows. That's what we're talking about. Oh, okay. About, like, so, being, you being intimidating and. I don't. Okay, this is what I was going to say. They, they, people, and I think a lot of comedians, they um, mix up confidence with what you guys are saying, intimidation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah or they, like mm-hmm. I don't, I don't understand it. Like, confidence I always is scary say this. to other people who don't have confidence. I always say this: people want others to be a hundred until they get to ninety-nine. You're like, whoa, whoa, you're getting too close. Hold up, right. like, I don't oh, want yeah. the full. Uh, like my whole life I've struggled with just like okay I can't be confident because that's almost arrogant and you gotta be oh, humble and there was always this line for me it was like be humble be humble but then I was humble to a fault yeah. and then it was like and then I became like low self esteem and yeah. I was like okay you can be confident without being arrogant Carla like right. there is like and you have to find a lot of that in comedy like I think yeah, humble is a part of confidence but, yeah humble is part of confidence when you're not humble then you're, you're right, like you're, you're right. like you're, just you're trying dick. to overcompensate that's, for yeah. something arrogance is, yeah, yeah that's what it is that makes sense like if you take away air uh like the humbleness from the confidence then you get arrogant yeah so you gotta say that grounds you i guess and that makes sense and in, in comedy it's weird because we can be de- self-deprecating this and that but we have to have confidence to get on you the stage to. even if we're faking it at first you gotta just like well, I think, see, I think Get that is, there, uh, you know? in my brain, I think stand-up is 90% confidence, 10% funny. As soon as they say your name and you hit that mic, yep. when you, you say on. something, when you look away, like, they, you got them. And yep. you can yep. you can basically say any fucking thing, the but first, you still got to be funny. But I'm just saying. The first, like, five to ten seconds. Oh, like, yeah. just your tone of voice, everything. Yeah. Yeah. Can Every, kill yep. a set or it can make a set sometimes yeah. or... Yeah, yeah, just like how one miswording of like, or even stumbling over your punchline word yeah. or something yeah. can ruin a whole great joke. Yeah. Like just stumbling over a word or, right. or tone of voice can yeah. change everything. Yeah. But all of this stuff, man, uh, going back to what Larry was talking about, it don't bother me, man. I stay busy. 
Um, you are busy. I, I like to, I feel like this, within the coronavirus, this pandemic shit, it really like showed me what I was lacking and what I needed to do. Um, because I was so focused on, I want to be the best here. I want to be the best here. Da, da, da. Oh, right. And I'm like, the fuck? This is a whole lot of people don't know who the fuck you are. Like, mm -hmm. And so I wanted to put myself in different situations, in front of different crowds, different cities, not knowing anyone. And then yes. I've been lucky because the internet, I'm going to be real with y'all, man. A lot of people talk so much shit about social media. I love it. Love hate relationship. That's what we were talking about last night. I'm Look, getting I, into even, it. I'm even when you to, came I'm on like, our show, you was like, I don't have any. I was like, girl. I had like Instagram, uh, which I barely use. And now I'm like starting to get more. Like I'm good at the Instagram better now. I'm starting to get the Facebook. I just downloaded TikTok. Yeah. But it's I'm not. It's, well, see, for someone anxiety. like you, if you just show glimpses, it'll make people want to see more and interested. I learned that because I did it backwards. I had more of a social media following than I did when I started stand up. Yeah, so, you already oh. had the you yeah. had the audience base. Because I was I was just going sense. on there just saying whatever. Like whatever mm -hmm. came to mind, I didn't give a fuck. Like mm -hmm. if it was and funny. That's why he's banned from Facebook right now. <laughs> yeah. Well I gotta, <laughs> I gotta, I gotta by one the more time, day. By the time, by the time this airs, I'll be back. I'll be when back. When this airs, he will when be this airs, out of jail. I'll be out. How I many times, Tandit? How many times have you been banned? Oh, this year from Facebook. This year what have had Three or four 90 days? It's been three. Really? No, three, three or four and then 30 last days. Year, 30 days. Last oh, year. last year. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but really what, I, what I was saying was uh, last year is when I started using, like, Facebook Live. Because I never did all that. I right. would just post funny stuff. Yeah, yeah. But I was like, you know what? People are at home. Now people really have to pay attention. So I would do little things, mm -hmm. little spoof, coronavirus songs. Yeah, and little stuff like that. When we that. did those commercials, that was fucking sick. Oh, yeah. I like yeah. that. Yeah. We, it's That's just, fucking funny. These are all on the BS show YouTube, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, it's Look just, it up, guys. you have to use that to your advantage now. It's not the old days. It's like, now, you, if you get that buzz, and, and I don't even have like a big nothing. It's just, if you could start it locally, you never know. You never yeah. know what will happen from it. No, you're right. Yeah, that's why I need to get more on the social media, I guess. Um, do you have uh, Do you have more. the title comedian or stand-up comic? Yeah, I do. Your... It's all Carla Vasquez comedy right okay, now. Okay, so I have a website now, dude. Okay, you guys so, have a website, so yeah. I'm let like, me Let me talk to you about this. Yes. This is my pet peeve. When you have someone who has that on their social media and you scroll and ain't shit it's funny, oh, it's so, dead. Oh yeah, yeah. It's yeah. like yo, what makes What will make me see your name somewhere else where you're performing that makes me want to come see you? Got you. Because. I feel like, because I was against putting comic or stand-up comedian in my shit for the longest, because I always thought, well, that's not my source of living. Right. I don't, it you was, felt like a yeah, fraud, I, like yeah. a kind of like, when oh, you When you see right. people like Kurt Fletcher, you see the bigger names yeah. you know how that long are really... You know how and long that's it why... took me to put fucking... Uh, Freelance, right, camera right, operator. right. Yeah. And, and you have been doing it, but, but I think it comes with respecting the craft too much. You yes. know what I mean? And that, that goes back to booking shows. If you do it for the art of comedy, you'll do it right. If you're doing it for yourself and for you to advance your shit, your oh, shows right, are always right. going to be trash. Yeah. Or, or nobody really is going to fuck with it. Mm -hmm. it so for, I feel it like... It has to be for the art, yeah. I, so I would see comedians. I'm like, well, okay. If, and I'm the type, okay, if I see something funny right there, I'm going to go check them out. And you can scroll the whole fucking year. <laughs> and nothing's on there. Mm -hmm. Or maybe they just took a damn a meme or something. Like, nah, let me see what you got. What your see what I'm saying? Is, and it yeah. don't have to be a video. It could just be your own thoughts, something. Uh -huh. That's how see, I looked at it. And that's where I get, it's hard for me to get on, too, because I have that same, like, well, who am I to be putting this stuff out on the internet? Like, nobody wants to see me. Guess what, Carla? There's fucking millions of people yes, putting shit out all the time. Know. Like, I need to get past that block of, like, yes. oh, I'm not good enough to be out there because, I, I mean... You are. Because um, in some ways I like have anxiety about things, and then other ways I'm like, my aunt's like, you're like one of the bravest people I know. I was like, what? Yeah. And then like other that, weird, you know, and I'm like, I don't get this. But yeah. Thing, it's, it's not about what you think is what other people, what you mean to other people. Right. That's it's a, what I'm so, doing for my, like, the comedy and for my yeah, own. Yeah. Because you never know who you'll inspire, True. whose day you'll make. Like, I never knew how powerful comedy was. I just thought shit's funny. I would want to do this. And like, not saying I didn't respect the crap. But social media showed me a whole different side because I remember the first day, the first time I did get banned, 
off of Facebook. <laughs> man, my inbox was blowing up. Where you at? You're not posting nothing. Oh, and man. then I would get upset. Like, why are these people bugging me? And then I would get, man, when you posted this and I was in a dark place and I just laughed and it took uh-huh. me somewhere. And that's why I was like, yo, this shit has yeah, power. Dude. You never know who's well, watching. Fucking laughter it's has true. a lot of, if you can make people laugh, dude, you can get yeah. the finest bitches on the planet. Yeah, I'm a it true a testament very, right here. Um, yeah, I always say even in an interview for a job or something, if I make Every, a person laugh. If I get the interview, I got the if job. If I got the job, I got yeah. the interview. Yeah. If I make them laugh, they're going to love me. Because yeah. <laughs> like, without my personality, I'm a good, hard three and a half. <laughs> Once I get to talking, I'm a 13 in this bitch. God damn it. <laughs> Probably yeah, me to too. Me too. I'm like, like for real. You have white, that me uh, too. skinhead looking white dude. <laughs> yeah, you're like, look at this fucking dude. He starts talking. Well, he's got charisma, guys. They start, they start throwing the pussy at you. Ah, take that it. charisma. I don't even want it. Just take it. <laughs> it's true. What, the personality is a big part it of is. it. Oh, yeah. If you got a shit too. personality, you're fucked for the yeah. rest of the time. Well, I get told all the time, if <laughs> someone doesn't know me and... You know, I'm not like this all the time. You know, I know how to turn on. And a lot of times I don't want to talk. I don't want to, like, bro, you look mean. You look standoffish. I'm like, okay, that's good in some times, but I'm not like that at all. Especially when you're walking up in the bar. (laughs) Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you're like, oh. (laughs) Shout, shout out to Lubbock, Texas. Right, that's <laughs> why I brought it up. <laughs> I love we went it. into this bar in Lubbock, Texas, and they had like a rebel flag right here. And oh, nice. They were like, they were looking like, where the fuck? Well, that's I the had place. Jordans on. I was just, Dude, I was that's the place where you got banned, right? Yeah, or, yeah. yeah. You got yeah. banned? Oh, oh yeah, yeah, the from the lake. fucking lake. Okay, so okay, if people aren't watching, because I do want to want talk about the aftermath of this. Okay. So you went like a bit viral there. Yeah, this shit's still going it's crazy. Still going. So going what is still happening? Yeah. If you guys didn't know, what can they even look up to? It was um, on Young Turks, too. Young they Turks. On Young uh, Turks. It's got, what, 1.5 million? Comedian gets yeah. banned. Comedian gets banned from Lake. From Lake. Yeah. From yeah. a lake. Lake. A lake show. I don't say L-A-K-E, not even a building. L-A-K-E, y'all. Not a not, building. Not a building. Nature. A lake. <laughs> for, <laughs> for roasting some boat police, basically. Yeah. But you wouldn't even yeah. roast him hard. Like they, I wouldn't, I you were more talking about the no. other people out there. Like, well, You know what's so crazy, though, Carla? So I had got booked there Memorial Day. That was my first time going out there. and Yeah, this is the second time. This is my there. second time going so there. So I got you. rebooked. And it yeah, was the same people who booked? Yeah, they knew So they, yeah, they so, knew what they were getting into. He was, yeah. he was actually fucking with white people and Mexicans that were out on the water. Yeah, I was, that's what I'm saying. No, no, no. Even, no. The first time I went... I, I fucked with everybody because I was like, you people know what? I, I, it was just me that first time. Mm-hmm. And so I was like, man, I'm going to give these people a good show. Um, I, was, I, I probably did, I want to say, at least 30 to 40 minutes of just what I see, improv. Mm-hmm. And so I, I, on the spot I came up with, I called it the, hier- the, the racial hierarchy of water. <laughs> and I was like, I'm going to tell y'all who fucks with water and who don't. I said, number yeah. one, white people. Y'all fuck with water. And it was crazy. Water. There was this white family, and the kid was hanging off the back of a boat, just splashing uh-huh. in the water. And I was like, see, that's white people shit. Yeah. And then dead. I come, and, and I get to black people. And mind you, this is the first time. I'm talking, and the good Lord was with me because it was a boat full of black people yes. pulled up. Yes. And I tore into their ass. And they came out. They had Yeezys on. No like way. Louis Vuitton. Oh, yeah, they had Louis Vuitton. <laughs> what? Pink polos, mint green. I they were dressed like people. they was ready to the, go to the club. And I was like, <laughs> I said, see, black people, that's us. We, uh, uh, as long as we look good when we drown and we don't care. Like, I just went yeah. in. And they actually came up, <laughs> dapped me up, and, you know, it went on. The same cops was there, laughed. The same cops. So I come back. What? They 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 asked me to come back again. Fourth of July. Yeah. This time Jamar this Hall comes with mm-hmm. me. Jamar, shout out to Jamar. This is Jamar? one of one of the best times I've seen Jamar. But he was different. He was like talking about cocaine and pills and fentanyl. Wow. And like, look, getting edgy. Even, He's been getting edgy really. Look, and I was like, job, well, I was well like, that's bro. because of Buck. He fuck, Buck told him. <laughs> I said, bro, stop with this dumb shit. Up, I said, like, let it go. Yeah. Stop being safe. Like, come on, bro. This isn't Star Search. Fuck okay. that. Just how Jess was, like, like my spirit like, animal. I'm like, like yeah. Once, once, once you, you can, you can, not saying you have to be that all the time, but you know when you can pull that shit out. Yeah, yeah, Or you know when you can reel it in. So we're on a lake. Everybody's drinking music. Man, fuck that. Let it go. He says all this crap. And 
he's about to get off, and I see the police, the boat police, or I don't know the fuck they were called. <laughs> They pulled it was over. Fishing game, I think it was. The fishing captain? game, yeah. warden. The ship captain. They pulled over another boat. And I was like, what the fuck? Like, <laughs> y'all stopped? <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? You're on water. So How I was did like, they do that? So I was like, you know what? I'm going to use that. Mm -hmm. So I get up there and I, I go right into that, man. And I was like, I say, like, how the fuck do you give a, a parallel parking ticket on the fucking <laughs> water? And the cop was like bigger than me. He was a big dude. <laughs> <laughs> it was a big dude. The boat was all leaning. Uh, yeah. So I was like, just jump off. He can't swim. Yes. He can float. He can't swim. I was just he talking hella shit. <laughs> Everybody's like, la the cops were laughing. On the cop. video, the, yeah, the cops laughing. were out there laughing. Next thing I know, the lady comes and she shuts. She she's the, the owner of the, the, owner of the venue yeah, right there. The but she's not the one who booked me, though. But she's she met you before, she's right? The, she, yeah, she was so, at the yeah. first one. Okay. And, uh, so she says, no, we're not going to make fun of the cops. They protect and serve. I was like, man, fuck that. Because I'm still in show mode. I'm still with the mm -hmm, mic. Mm -hmm. And she walks up to me. So I'm like, me, I'm thinking, I'm using The most this. rudest yeah. thing I've ever seen somebody that's up there doing comedy. Yeah, I said, okay, you I'm going to. Yeah, I don't come If in. you step into my realm, that's like if I walked into her business and walked into the kitchen. Yes. She'd have been like, what the fuck? Yeah, yeah. She's but like, I was I'm like, cooking food. What are you doing? Get out of here. I was like, I'm going to use it. I'm, gonna, I'm not going to mm -hmm. break character. And she was just like, we're not going to make fun of the cops. I was like, oh, you fucking the cops then. I can see that right now. And so everybody's <laughs> laughing. And so she walks away. And I go back. I go back to the cops. <laughs> then the fucking captain, whatever dude, comes over, <laughs> says his name. Stuff. And I'm, same thing. I'm still performing. The, the look on his face, I thought he was coming up there to be a part of the show. Right, he's, that was fun. You yeah, know, playful. he comes up there. Hi, my name is blah blah blah, and I, I said, "How you doing?" I wasn't mean. I, was, I said, "How you doing?" I shook his hand, and the first while he's talking, I'm not, I just zone Don't him out. The best part. Yeah, I'm <laughs> I'm zoning him out because I'm still performing. I still have right, the mic. Yeah. So like, I see his, his body cam. I was like, "Hey, is this on?" And I tap it. I was like, "Hey, yes. what's going on out there?" Oh, <laughs> I didn't know that part. Yeah. Oh, that's that's so when he got pissed. Yeah, he got pissed off. Oh, he got so mad. His oh face God. gets red. And he was like, yeah, they're going to shut you down. We're shutting you down. Da, da, da. And I was like, what? Are you serious? He's like, yeah, show's over. I said, all right, cool. I said, they said the show's over. Kyle said, so that was it, right? So all the people that were there, they were all white people, mind you. They were all there. And they were, like, they were like, <laughs> they were pissed. And I was like, no, you can continue the show at our house. What? Now, mind you, it's like five, six o'clock mm -hmm. in the afternoon. I was like, mm, sundown's nah, coming. Sundown. Hell no, no, <laughs> hell no. But you know what happens at sundown? Yeah, I know. Like, uh uh, <laughs> nah, uh uh. I said, oh, one of y'all no. might be the cop's mom or something. Mm -hmm. so, but they were like, no, we'll pay you. They were, they were willing really? to pay. Oh, and yeah, was, there were people mad. Yeah, yeah, they were, they were pissed. Good, okay. So we take pictures, we exchange social medias. Same cop comes over. It's like, no, you got to leave now. You're banned for life. I said, what? I said, oh, for fucking. I, then banned this when I get the mad. the lake. Not, no, yeah. from not the, just that. From the whole the fucking lake. lake. They told what? me I got to leave. How do they even, like, keep this up? And never mind. Like, well, I'm a black dude. Check every uh, day for uh, it's, they got like a two <laughs> black person I quota every at the lake. black guy there right now is getting <laughs> yeah. pulled over and asked if he's you. Hey, did you tell you? jokes hey, here on the 4th of July? Robert, You're not supposed to be here. Robert, Mr. Yeah. Gibson. Well, it was Zay. crazy because so I didn't want to play no games. You know, yeah. we all loaded up and we leave. Jamar actually stayed there, right? So we leave and we leave out the gate because it's a long way to go to the front gate. State troopers were coming in. And I was like, yo, I'm, I'm glad we left because I think that was for us. Well, I yeah. think that was for me. What can they even do? That's crazy. It's I mean, just weird, bro. I'm thinking it's something when it comes to a black guy. Like, oh, it was, it was weird. Comedy, like, how do you write up that banding thing? This guy was really funny and we couldn't handle it. It was, <laughs> and, and I'm mad because, like you said, I didn't even really get into it. Yeah. And they, and that's the footage that's out there. And I'm like, oh, man, I didn't get the good shit. Like, yeah. that's I was just getting started. Yeah, yeah. So that's weird, so man. So that's out there. Like, even overnight, there were like 100 thousand views overnight or something when I get like the, that when, when it got so posted. Larry was the first person who hit me or who called me because my inbox was I'm getting hit by people I was like I thought somebody died I was like oh, oh fuck right. man like usually when your phone goes yeah, off like that like at night emergency or something yeah so Larry calls me he was like yo <laughs> what did you say <laughs> what the fuck he's, he's like what the fuck happened <laughs> that's what he said <laughs> 
You didn't know the story yet? No. You didn't know what happened? No, I didn't know anything. Oh, that's so no. funny. Mm -mm. So, yeah, that shit was crazy. Then, then you have the people who never fucked with you started hitting, on, hitting you up. Hey, bro. I was, I was like, I had nothing to do. It's oh, not yeah, like I yeah. made it go viral. Like, yeah, I was just a part of it. I didn't. That's so funny. Somebody, somebody who was there then like recorded it and sent it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Work. The actual um, the guy that the, guy the person that... who booked me was recording it. They're the ones and that put it, it in. And then sent it to him. <laughs> yeah, the whole thing is wild. Yeah. And then like he didn't stick up for you, but he recorded it and threw it. <laughs> Was laughing during the did whole he, thing. Yeah. Did you end up getting him on the phone? Because I knew there was like a saga happening where like you were trying to get him on the phone on the BS show or something. Yeah. Oh, okay. So I know I watched oh, yeah, an episode where that. you tried to so call a couple the, of times. Yeah. Like, so what happened was I'm leaving Lubbock the next day and the lady hits me and was like, yeah, the whoever runs the lake. <laughs> well, because um, oh, Rob, yeah. Rob's a veteran. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, yeah. So they, oh, yeah, and they're like... When mm. that was found out, that's when, the you know, Texas, dude, they're all about yeah. America. And yeah. Because a lot of people was like, oh, he's a thug. Some lady was like, he's the guy that attacked me under the bridge last week. What? Remember that? Yeah, all that <laughs> shit, dude. No. Yeah, and I was like, what? On, like, a comment or something? Yeah, yeah it was on yeah. the actual lake page on yeah. Facebook. Yeah, so the, the people... The, the actual lake... I can't remember the fucking name of the lake. Oh, God. On the don't page, go there, they guys. make this post. I can't remember it either. God damn it. I can't remember. I don't know. They make a post. Biggest, put it at the top of their page. And to the so called comedian who was uh, making fun of the officers. He, We're they talking made, about a page that's got 40,000 yes, fucking likes and, on it. So they what? say this. Man, what? that shit goes crazy. Everybody jumps on there. Yeah, fuck him. And <laughs> he attacked me under the bridge last week. And, <laughs> and, all this. and, was, and so I'm You're laughing. Been busy. <laughs> I'm laughing. This is why I say you have to be sane. You got to be secure to fuck around on the Internet. Because that shit right. be driving some people crazy. Yeah. And, and I read. I was reading it. And I was just cracking up. Because it was funny how it would go from hot to cold, hot to cold, hot to cold. Then people from here hopping on there, and so oh, yeah, all kinds of people like me. I was like, "Fuck this!" Yeah, yeah, yeah fuck y'all. You, you got <laughs> oh, that was racist, and all, and you know, oh, look, he doesn't have, he couldn't even, uh, he wouldn't serve his country if they made him. And, I, and everybody's Whoa. like, uh, you know, he was in the Marines, right? Wow. And then, when that when that was known, then they started backtracking. They started yeah, so backpedaling. What happened was when they saw that I was in the Marine Corps, mm -hmm. they actually deleted the whole post. They took it off. And then the guy oh, reached wild. the guy. Are... Yeah, the guy goes, and little does he know, I was the worst fucking Marine in history. Because <laughs> <laughs> the book is the last person. The most <laughs> unpatriotic. He was like, I was almost AWOL. But... I'll be like, man, holler at me when 9 11's over, bro. Like, when <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's over. I ain't going none of that shit. Fuck that. What was that? The years you were in? <laughs> no, I was in from '96 to 2000. It, I got out right before oh, that shit. I had wow. an opportunity to go back, and I was like, "Fuck no, <laughs> hell no." What I got? What I got? What they got to do with me? Like shit, shit's yeah, bad did. where I live. You we're right <laughs> in the right pocket. Exactly. Right before. <laughs> yeah. So the guy somehow, I think they gave him my number. And he was playing phone tag with me, and I knew what it was. I told Larry, I was like, this guy knew that, found that I was a Marine. Mm -hmm. He was a Marine and tried to do all that, hey, double dog, ooh, rah, talk, all this shit that I don't give Too a fuck late. about. <laughs> and so I, I got a hair up my ass. We were all doing the BS show. I was like, let's call his ass. Oh, my God. I was fucking <laughs> freaking out. I was like, <laughs> Larry was like, I heard are you that sure you want to do this? The number, like, yeah. oh. the Larry's, number like, got Larry's like, are you sure you want to do this? I was like, fuck yeah. If we're going to do it, we're going to do it on our, on our terms. Because yeah. he made that post on the lake term on their shit. Mm -hmm. So now let's take the power. Mm -hmm. Called him. He didn't answer. But he texted right afterwards. Oh, that's right. He was like, like, oh, hey, I'm in class. Because we did a Friday morning show. Oh, yeah, yeah it, it was Friday morning. Yeah, yeah, oh, I'm in a class. I'll, and I was going out of town. I was like, hey, I'll be back. No, no, no. I didn't go. I said I was going out of town because we were doing the show the following mm -hmm. Tuesday. So I made up this whole lie that I was going out of town. Mm -hmm. And I said, I'll be back. Call me Tuesday at like 8 o'clock. <laughs> Mountain <laughs> time. <laughs> oh, my God. And he, but he never called, though. He never called. What a punk, dude. Somebody, somebody dropped the dime. Because I was so going to embarrass the shit out of his ass live on the air. <laughs> like, for real. And is that, so it's been a couple of months, a few months yeah, a couple of months now. Is that still, like, people still yeah. on that about? Um, shit, the last, when I did my last shows in Phoenix, shout out to uh, Tara Shakespeare, 
Um, I did that at, damn, I have a bad fucking memory. Well, her show is called The Not So Black and White Show. Oh. And that's done with her and her. Where was that? Was it in Colorado? Was it Colorado? No, no. That, w- that was in Phoenix. Oh, Phoenix. That yeah. was in Phoenix at the House of Laughs. Oh, no. House of Comedy. That's what House it is. Of House of Comedy. And then that, so that was on Wednesday night. And then that Saturday is when I did the Casey Jones Bar and Grill. I knew that yeah. was going to be a good show because of the flyer. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Um, I was so, impressed with the flyer. Yeah, that flyer if was Larry's nice. impressed with the flyer, because Larry be makes the show. best flyers. Yeah. So at both of those places, I never, I only knew Tara, and um, out of everybody, and I had people there, like, yo, I saw this stuff with the cops, and I was like, what? And then Saturday night, same thing happened. Yeah, because you were busy, like, for, like, he did the, the Lubbock thing, and then, yep. like, all weekend he was every show. Every right. weekend yeah, yeah, after yeah. that, so... Yeah, you I didn't really have time minute. to do, sh- and people was like, yo, we saw the Young Turks. And I I never watch Young Turks. Fuck no. That, dude, that's I, so I don't watch that shit. There's 1.5 million watch views on that. And yeah, then, there like, was It was people lot. that I knew from Dallas was like, yo, we just saw you on Young Turks. Like, what the fuck is Young Turks? And it was like, it's our TMZ a, yeah. for Texas. <laughs> that's what yeah, they Yeah, pretty that. much. But that was cool, though. It was yeah. like, you know. A lot of people had a false sense of what was going to come from that or what will come from that. Yeah, something like that. What even not, happens when somebody yeah, that's goes not, viral? That's not, kind of, like, it's cool, but it's yeah. not something like people are like, I need to seek out the guy who's made fun of the cops. Like, right, you're no. not getting blown up for like what spots. Was, what was the highlight from the Young Turks was that a, a black veteran was being banned from a lake yeah, they, 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 on, they like they banner, it right? on yeah, the yeah. 4th of July. Yeah, they did like a 10-minute yeah. segment on you, too. Just my luck, bro. But at least they said I was funny. I, that's yeah, the part that I cared about. They did, that was I cared they about did both too. back you up like, yeah. on that. Yeah. Um, both saw your sides. And usually they're like, we play devil's advocate, but he yeah. was right here. Like, yeah. those cops suck. It was like, dope. They, they banned him. That sucks. That's so funny. <laughs> it was dope. It was dope. That's exciting. Yeah, exciting yeah. summer. I, I, I don't know. So I, get a, I, got, I, I, always, I look back on stuff that I've been a part of. I'm like, man, I got a rabbit's foot, bro. Like. I'll be at the right place at the right time. Right stuff happens. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah, that's well, why I say you always got to be ready. Yeah, and I think if, when you're moving in the direction of the things you want, more things start falling into place because you're putting in the work. I don't know what it is. Like, they call it, like, Buddhists will call it, like, your dharma or whatever. I think it's Buddhist. Anyway, whatever, where it's like you're following the path that you should be on, and once yeah. you start following that and start getting rid of the negative energy in your life, more yeah. good shit just starts to fall into Ooh. place for you, you know? Cause you're Boy, following Larry, you're she hit it on the head with the negative energy. Yeah, yeah. So, getting rid of all that is big. That's what Even happened within with me. yourself. Well, that's yeah. what happened with me, Carla, because I was surrounding myself with people that was not good for me. Mm-hmm. And so I was like, you know what? What am I doing? Basically, I don't, I'm not a stealers crutch. of his soul. I'm not a, I'm not, I don't need a crutch. Soul I don't crutcher. need this, that, and the crutches. other. Yeah. And once you, it was like when Forrest Gump started running with his leg braces yeah. and shit broke <laughs> off, yeah. motherfucker never stopped running. That's how I felt. And I was like, I'm man, running. all type of stuff start coming. And mm-hmm. a lot of people say what they want, but when stuff happens, are you truly ready for it? Because it's you true. might get scared. You might get like, it, oh no, I don't know. Like it yeah. can be scary doing something new that's out of your realm. I mean, that's why people get like from addiction to even drama and stuff. You get almost addicted to what you're used to, and yeah. anything outside of that is scary. Even if what you're yes. going through right now is bad, you're used to that kind of bad. So like, even if something is good, you're like, I don't know, but it might be bad. Well, it's like just try it. You never know. Well, see, and that that goes back to the comedy. Like I was here for the longest of long. I would go here or there but i'm like man i want to go i want to be put out in the yes. waters i want to get it's just thrown get out, out there yeah. and, and see if it works or see if others think the way that i view myself so that's what it was yeah that's just saying yes to a lot of opportunities as long as they feel like good in the oh, comedy oh, scene okay I there's mean, a, now, she's, good. now she's getting on something i wanted to talk about too look y'all every show you get booked on ain't the show you need to be on it's true. Trust me, y'all. Don't just because someone books you, do your research, man. Because yeah. you don't want a lot of shit like that on your resume. No, and yeah, I've said. <laughs> <laughs> 
I'm, <laughs> Look, did I hit a nerve? <laughs> like, well, I'm just saying, I man, mean, I stopped working with somebody in town because of stuff like that, yeah, you know, that we talked about in your yeah. show. Cameron Kennedy? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I'm why? Fuck that. y'all. Speak, the news how you gonna call your show Carla talks hopper? out loud and she don't talk out yeah, loud? I'm gonna, I'll talk right. for we you. We talked about it on Kevin the Kevin Kennedy. He has a new shoot spot, <laughs> The Hopper or something, and every, what bothers me is everybody, I don't know how oh, he gets them the on. It's called The Grasshopper. Man, fuck that guy, The Blue Grasshopper is somewhere else, but I think it's a different location on the west side. I don't know. Even the other night, on was like, I'm going to go to his mic, not the garage. I was like, fuck you, on I'm going to kill you tomorrow. Anyway, just kidding. Um, no, I'm but, not. Fuck that guy, But bro. everybody fuck from out that of guy. town. Get the, is this on this does, one? Fuck Kevin Kennedy. How does he have connects to everybody who comes from out of town? Does he see everybody else's flyers and then, like, leech on those people? Because everybody I talk to when Red Velvet is still happening yeah. from out of town, they'd be like, I'm like, what are you doing Saturday? Saturday? They're like, oh, the Red Velvet show. I'm like, show is a strong word. Right. Um... <laughs> Well, I'll say this. Yeah, I'll like say he this. He will though. just throw people, or he'll like promise out of towners time, and then be like, "We don't have enough time for you." I'm like, "That's fucked." One thing I won't do if I have a personal problem with somebody, and if you work with them, I'm not gonna be mad at you about it because everybody has a different everybody path. Everybody has, yeah. But as for me, fuck no, yeah, no, I'm not doing it. And like, how you know, do people you? ask me like, "Why?" Uh, no, fuck no. I'm. I will never let someone like him tell me, ah. Oh, well, they didn't tell. He didn't tell me. He told someone else, because they were like, "Hey, Buck, you know, he's this is when I was first starting." And he was, he was like, "Ah, he needs to write better jokes." <laughs> and I was like, wow. "And then when you found out he was having that show at the main event?" Yeah. You know? Well, what happened was Jeez. there was a show at the main event. The first comedy show I ever did, ironically, was at the main event. Okay. So we brought and on. And it was a Kevin Kennedy show, right? The, I no. didn't even know that no, 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 no. You came in one time. I, this is what I'm going to say. This is where the beef started. What was the comedian's name? Uh, the woman who I thought was the first white oh woman on Death Comedy Jam. Oh, my God. The the Oh, um. The Jano. You said Maya. Mia, yeah, that's her Maya, name. The Jano. Maya, Maya or, Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, a half black lady, right? She's, 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 like she's like half Italian black, and... Jewish, yeah. Italian. Yeah. So I remember her from Def she Comedy Jam. Okay. And she was, I was yeah, like, Yeah, she was supposedly the first woman to be on Def Comedy Jam, yeah. right? Yeah. Well, the first woman that wasn't full black. That's what yeah, I was yeah, saying. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I was like, oh, I remember her. She was funny. Go to the show, get there. There was this guy on stage who I thought was her husband or boyfriend or something, he was doing bad. So we walking <laughs> through, and I had probably been doing comedy a year. So it was a lot of people that knew me. They were like, yo, are you going to be a part? I was like, nah, I'm just here chilling. I didn't want to sit. And Buck was not by himself. I, I wasn't by myself. Yeah, I he had a group of like what? Fucking entourage. It was entourage. a lot of people. A lot of people. Entourage. So so when they walked through, we walked through. through. Yeah, it was yeah, like. people noticed. And main and event, and main event you had to walk through the crowd <laughs> to get to the bar. So I didn't want to sit in the crowd, so I'm going to sit at the bar. And I didn't know she was sitting, like, right here across. Oh. So the guy was bombing, doing bad. And people were coming up to us telling us how bad this guy was. Uh-huh. So we're laughing, and she's, she's getting mad. And she starts chirping. And I was like, I said, I'll never forget. I told her, I said, save it for the stage. You don't want to do this. That's what I told her. <laughs> she goes, all right, I will. I'll oh, do it on the stage. Funny. She goes up there, just starts going off. And so the pers- one of the people I was with, well, her she mother. She was trying to roast you. Yeah, she was trying to roast. But she's like, yeah, and the two black guys back there. And everybody looks. And they was like, ah, that's. <laughs> like, they, was, they was like, oh, this is going to get interesting. And so. <laughs> we know him. Yeah, so. The guy that I was with, his mother had passed away. Mm. And she goes, yeah, and, and, his, and his mom. And, uh, and I was like, what? so he gets out of roast mode. He's mad now. I was yeah, like, this, I, this, guy, this, yeah, yeah. this guy goes to fisticuffs. Oh, yeah. And I was, like, I was like, no, 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 I got this. I got this. So I just stand up. We going at it. We start <laughs> roasting. <laughs> she gets what? pissed. She gets so red. She throws down the mic and runs out. She had been on stage not even five minutes, huh? No. Oh yeah, not even five oh, minutes. That's she, funny. And so she, she ran out. She crying. ran. She ran off the stage and I've ran out the door. I've never seen anybody doing that. Just ran. That's wild. And we're talking about a seasoned comedian who's yeah, been on something. Like haven't you can Google new, her. I've seen Google a new her. comedian even do something like that. You can you know Google I mean? her. She that's runs. Wild. And so once they do that, everybody's pissed because like we paid to come see her, and I was like, "Buck, get up there." Da, da, da. So by this time, Kevin picks up the mic. He's like scared and. Cause it's like an urban, it's an urban crowd. I ain't gonna lie to you. So oh, yeah, we're talking about the main event. Here. Yeah, yeah. And he's all, and 
he goes, ha, ah, yeah. Uh, and it was like, go up there, Buck. So I just went up there and I, I take the mic. And you I, weren't on the show though? No, I did like, I did like 30 minutes. Out of his I hand. love it. I did like 30 minutes. Oh my just, gosh, I love this. And then I get done, I hand them back the mic. He's like, okay, give it up for Buck D. He had no problem, right? You saved the show. I mean, what was he going to do? So he needed you. I never knew he had an issue until someone was like, hey, I know you throw comedy shows. You should have Buck on. That's when he sends the screech. He sends the inbox to her. Oh, he makes jokes about he's misogynistic and he he doesn't <laughs> like women. We don't oh, do oh. jokes about women and all this stuff. Yeah, this and, is coming from Yeah, Kennedy, this is coming dude. from this. This is juicy so, my face right now. Like, this is coming from piece of Kevin. Shit. So yeah. check this out. So I didn't know who he was. And then he goes, only part that I got pissed off about was when he says, tell him to write better jokes, maybe I'll book him. So I said, wait a minute, I know this dude's on YouTube. Let me go check it out. First fucking video, this motherfucker has a guitar saying meow, meow, meow for 20 fucking minutes. Yeah, and that was his whole thing. And it's so crazy, he had the same goddamn jersey on that he had on that night. The Dolphins more jersey. Joke. He needs to write some like, more jokes. Fuck? Write some more actual jokes. Sir. So you know me. I took it to social media. That's you know, so I, funny. I put him on whatever. You put him but on blast. It's like, my thing this. is... Right there, bro. That's what's wrong with the scene. Like, that's what's wrong. Like, everybody's afraid of calling out the badness. Yeah, oh, I think that's sure. just what's wrong with. And it. so, like, you gotta... I, and I'm not gonna, I'm not even gonna say this. He, he may be a pillar. He may have following. He may have or whatever. But just be, you don't put down someone else who's up and coming. Because if I, maybe if I was a different mindset, I probably would have never done comedy again. Like, I would have been like, oh, this guy's somebody here. Maybe, right, yeah. maybe, no, this is, I shouldn't do this. Or, uh, fuck that. I ain't like that. You could but have anyway. helped each other in some yeah, senses. And exactly. a lot of us can, and we, like, choose not to because of, yeah, silly, yeah. petty stuff like that. And uh, so, it's a personal. It's not over comedy. It's over personal so, stuff. So that was, that, like, kind of lit a fire under me. So w when I did get Nexus, I want to, even though I did Nexus for, like, two and a half years, the first year and a half was by myself, mm -hmm. I said, man, Nuke, I, I, I said, I don't care. Whoever wants to do it, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make sure they do it. And do, mm -hmm. I'm not going to tell them, you got two minutes, four minutes. Go as far as you feel comfortable. Yeah, you know like what I'm that. saying? Yep, yep, yep. Um, so it was a lot. Zach Abeda. Give him time. Zach Abeda was the first person to do Nexus with me. It was, he's come a long way because that was back when I didn't have no mic, no nothing, Larry. I was just walking around. Room yeah, full of people t talking loud. And I feel like if you're funny, they'll pay attention. For like, sure. It, it don't you're and captivating I, some people's yeah. voices even just like will captivate them. Just the tone of voice like we talked about. Yeah. So, so Zach, you know, he did his Kevin thing. Kevin Kennedy thing. Go ahead. I'm listening. <laughs> you're looking for it. You're and looking text. for it. <laughs> no, go ahead. Uh, but yeah, Zach was there. Zach the was the first one. How long ago was this? This was. Because he's been doing like four years. Like four or five years ago. Four or five ago. years ago. Yeah. Yep. Um, you know who else? I'm, I'm going to name the people who I want to say ask me and first started over there. Uh, Cat Savage. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. I remember her. She came to one. She's like, I think I want to do this. I was like, do She's it. Funny, she came yeah. back the next month and just did her. Like, she was fucking hilarious. Um, Elijah Williams. Oh, I love Elijah. Elijah. He's um, such a good soul. <laughs> um, it, I can't think of other people, but I know for a fact those were ones that came through there and did their thing. So. I wanted I like to that. do it before. I went and watched a couple of times. To, you came to I came and visited a couple, but I was Were like, you intimidated? No, I liked the energy yeah, yeah, yeah. there. I was like, this is cool. This I think is a lot fun. of people. Nexus was the shit. I think a lot of people would, would hear rooms. about it. I'm not going over there because it's, Buck tells the crowd to boo you. And I was like, no. that's not what happened. That's not what happened. It's kind of been fun to like, uh, I don't know, to throw yourself in different scenes that are not you. Because yeah. I think I, I come off. They're like, oh, who's this weird girl? And I'm like, yeah. whatever, you know, that's something for me. Or even, even like going to Clovis. Totally yeah. different scene. Oh, yeah. Clovis almost like is a hood. love big scene. Clovis is hood. <laughs> it was interesting there, but I'm like, it was like half like country ranchers yeah, yeah, yeah. and then half like military yeah, yeah, and yeah. half like lesbian ranchers. Yeah. I don't know, but it was a weird scene, but I was like, lesbian still myself. Ranchers. Lesbian ranchers. That's what they look like. What the fuck? Lesbian farmers? I don't know. Farmers only. Do they have like mullets and shit like that? One dude. There mullets was some and suntans, like, like some <laughs> female mullets. Oh, do you want to see some funny or hear some funny text from Kevin Kennedy? What's up? Why I said okay. now, now Carl is talking out loud. This so is what I like said, to hear right here. Uh, I just said something like, "Stop 
hitting on me something something and then he was like oh yeah I, uh, probably best that I didn't date Angora or another comedian never date a comedian and he says but you and me are so much alike um, I said I'm not sh- sure if it's good for comedians to date either not interested and he said <laughs> the not interested that's, was like, that's, that's it right there I was, like, oh. I was like and I'm not interested the uh-huh. n- not interested is way worse than no because oh, yeah. you spent I, time to spell no, interested but I had already, it already had been months of him like texting yeah, trying, me late yeah. and I was just like dude Dutton. and then he was like yeah ooh, blah, blah. it would have been good though cause, see you're an awesome singer um, oh, he's stroking oh, the he, ego. He says, You're, uh, I see you as an awesome singer, though, who happens to do comedy, LOL, like me. You have a great voice. Put some singing in your act. Use all your tools. Um, oh. Hold on. He says, if you notice, I've tried to show you guys all different styles of stand-up. He's tried to show us different. He said, like, the most popular style right now is Zach or Loy Lee. Did you see Loy Lee's special yet? Uh, that one style, you know. Um, and then the really good ones, like Sarah K. Rusty can do any style. I don't know. Just food for thought. You know, that's that shows you right there what a piece of shit he is. That's like, fucked he up. Just, I, I, was, I was like, styles. do you see how many? Do you yeah. see, like, Number just Number one, if you're a comedian, you should have your own fucking style. Yeah. You yep. shouldn't be grabbing other people's right. styles. And right, right. I mean, Dude. there's a lot of comedians that that will accidentally do that. Yeah. Like Tom Just, Sikora, for instance, he started yeah. doing an impression of Chris Rock. Yeah. Oh, I mean, yeah. If you look at his, his earlier stand-up, it's like fucking a car- Way carbon different. copy. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. But, but that, don't ever steal somebody's style and use it as your own. Yeah, like, what he's the trying fuck to is tell he us, talking about? Like, yeah, he's trying to tell us, like, oh, he's trying to show us different stuff because we don't know. I'm like, well, the funny hey, I got thing Netflix. Is, I got HBO. <laughs> I can the funny see thing it. is, it's always the worst ones who have so much to, so knowledge, much to yeah. so much knowledge to pass on. They're like, bro, I've never seen you kill it. Like, how I've are you going to teach me? I'm, I'm a fucking student of comedy. I've yeah. never once told all the comedians I've known, I've never once said anything like, you should do it this way. Do it this way. Do you it that way. Do nah, you. Nah, like, you, I don't you, give a fuck. Do you yeah. the best way you do you. Because guess what? That crowd's going to smell the fake shit on you. Mm-hmm. This ain't you. You're just trying to do this because of whatever, whatever. And people, like, I'll take advice from people. You know, I'm taking some advice here and there. I'm like, they're like, oh, I like this joke. So maybe, like, start, you know, not write the joke for me, but they're like, Oh, this I like I like this. I still or can't do that. Maybe put, but there's only certain people I'll take that from who yeah. I have really respect. But then yeah. the ones who overly do that to people, like Kevin, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know they're full of shit, and that yeah. it's like they're trying to. Well, hide. you're trying to fuck. That's what that was. Oh <laughs> like, yeah, let's for just sure. Be real. Even later, there were, there were a little more texts <laughs> later after yeah. that where it was like 2 a.m. He's like, yeah. "You look great tonight, sweets." Yeah. Like all this stuff. I'm like, "Dude, no." No, so, but and that's it's, why it's, I won't work with him. Well, you you know you got the up and comers like on hell and all of them. Like those dudes are killing it. I love they have their own niche, their own style. Yeah, it's like my my. Uh, class kind yeah, of yeah and they and you know he he'll ask me things i'm like bro you gotta it's just be you that's be, it yeah. like i, I don't because we're two different people i can't look at his act and say hey use this or if you do that more nah who the fuck am i on like, joke writing is hard to tell if somebody's like hey yeah uh be more confident or what you know whatever yeah, 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 like yeah, yeah. that might be different with new comedians well see that new that, comedians that, have been starting to come to me and i'm like wait am i old, like a next are you old like, head not, like, <laughs> i was like am i not new new anymore I'm like i don't know shit guys nah that's what i'm but, saying that's what i say like I you can be doing easy, this shit yeah. forever and don't know shit yeah exactly but that's why i love comedy though is because unlike other jobs or whatever i've had i don't feel like all right done i learned this and like i'm yeah. bored by it like comedy there's always work to be done whether it's the joke writing whether it's the stage presence whether it's you know working on different forms of like crowd work whether it's booking shows or going out on tour on shows yeah. like doing different types of shows yeah, like roasts and things you know yeah. like there's always new things to be honed and new tools to like work on which i yeah. love um yeah. Going real quick to like out of town stuff because I'm going to Tucson next week. Going to do some mics. Might get on a show at Laughs there, but mm-hmm. going to do a podcast. And then I was in El Paso recently for family stuff, but I made it out to three mics and like met all the crew there. That's what's up. Um, yeah. What advice do you have for people going out of town, or like how do you even like start to do these things like booking or like well, it it's, just connects through other people. Everybody is connected. That's what I've learned. Networking. Everyone right? is connected. Be professional. Number one, be professional. It's not sure. be funny. Be professional. That means be there on time. Um, you know, introduce who you are. Because, you, you know, you probably never met these people. It's all yeah. online shit or whatever. You know, introduce, say you're happy, all this stuff. And then the performance is the easy part. It's all that other stuff, you know. Like, you, the, the biggest thing for me that I learned is 
be professional, be on time, and act like you want to be there, mm-hmm, and mm-hmm. it's new, and be hungry, and all that, that stuff. That's yeah. the part that I love. Like, I, uh, like here, you know, it's a different feeling for me to do a show in Albuquerque. Not saying I'd, I'd just be like, oh, go through the motions. But when you go out of town, it's like they don't know who you are, and you just want to kill. You want yeah. them to. The best thing that people can do after seeing you do stand up is try to t- them trying to tell you what you said on stage. They fuck it up. Right. <laughs> but, like that but more, like remember more when you? Yeah, yeah. yeah. And when they that. do that shit, that's when you're good, yes. man. That's and that's why I love going to these different places. Like it's it's like a new adventure. Like you reinventing yourself, you reintroducing mm-hmm. yourself. That's you're the part that your, I love. You're getting out of your nest. That um, because I liked even getting in the scene here and figuring it out and kind of it's like it has this buzz to it of like yeah. I'm figuring out and meeting these people and we're like minded and it's about the you know it's about comedy and then I felt that when I like went to El Paso or even Clovis or yeah, yeah, different yeah. people who hadn't seen me where well, I feel like fresh again. Yeah. Like you feel brand new yeah, again yeah, or yeah. something. Espe- so again, the- like I love doing shows here, but it's yeah. you know I know the senior, I know everybody, I love saying yeah. hi, but there it's like something cool to be like, yeah. oh, you do this, let's network, let's call yeah. each other, yeah. let's oh, I like this joke of yours, you like this of mine. Whatever. And what happens is it starts with one person, and then they'll speak your name to someone else. Mm-hmm, and speak, mm-hmm. and that's what it happened for me. Yes. Like I went to, out, um, I, shout out to uh, Josh Fournier. He had something set up in Farmington. And that that show in Farmington was me, him, the first one, me, him, Smitty, Brandon, who Brandon lives up in Durango, I believe. And Jill Carlson was the host. Mm-hmm. Met her. Boom. I'm going back yeah. to Colorado. Yes. I'm do, like and then she was in Phoenix this last time I was there. Mm-hmm. She was like, hey, you know, and it was just That's like so everyone right. knows everyone. That's why you want to yeah, friendly be professional yeah. I think which helps because even yeah people have come here Billy Joe Gillespie was here she's like if you're ever in Boulder here's my car See? she's See like I mean? run five shows up there and she just saw me at a mic and I was like there you cool. go and then yeah Neil Rubenstein and I are probably going to do a mini tour January February together um yeah, even, yeah, El Paso, and I met some people that, like, knew you and Jamar and, like, Josh and all of them. Like, Jerry, you, you know, know Jerry down so there, crazy. you know Sharita. Yeah. Sharita, Like, yeah. Darius and Anthony uh, Austin. Anthony uh, Austin, Austin, yeah, and, yeah, yeah. Anthony yeah. Austin. And, you know what's uh, so funny? Like, all those people are so nice to me. You know what's so funny? I've only done stand-up in El Paso one time, oh, and they but know all you. the fucking they know comedians you. know me. Yep. And it was, well... They I, have a it smaller was, scene there than was, here, yeah, I think. Yeah, they have a unique situation there because they all, at least they have a comedy club. That's that's the dope part. Yes, now they're going to have two. They they're going to have they two have now. They have a strip and then they're, they're going to get another one? Yeah, no. uh, DJ Tommy Black's open one down there called oh, for real? Cra- Crack Me Up. He is really nice. Yeah. yeah. I met and him so at one of your shows. The, the time I did El Paso was... I entered their funniest, El Paso's funniest comic uh, thing, competition. Nice. And I'd never been down there. I was like, I want to go. I don't care. And <laughs> it was so funny because I didn't know when I went down there to do promo, they take your picture and you do a little video, that those were comedians. It was Sharita and it was another comedian. Mm-hmm. And so they were like, how long have you been doing? They were like picking my, I didn't know at the time. You know they, were- they, were, they was like <laughs> trying to fill me out and. And they were like, uh, I remember them saying, oh, you know, you know, Keith Breckenridge and mm-hmm. Jabbar Hall. And I was like, yeah, yeah, I've done shows with them. And they were like, oh, man, they were just saying, like, they're going to come down here and kill it. And I was like, oh, they're going to kill it. Oh, you ain't seen me. Like, I'm, I'm talking hell of shit. And I didn't know they were. They com- were comedians. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And so I, I go and I do it. And it was probably like 18 of them. I pulled number three. I'm scared. I'm like, fuck, man. I'm not. I'm not gonna win. Right. But I, I play third. Fuck I play yeah. third, and it was because okay. one of the comedians gets up there because I. It was um, shout out to Otis Hicks. It was one guy who went first. Otis Hicks goes second. I went third, and then all of the comedians go. And it was probably like they get to ten or eleven. And this guy was like, he felt. He was like, y'all can't let this fucking dude from Albuquerque win this shit. <laughs> and be, he don't even live here. How's yeah. it going to be the funniest com- com- yeah, comic yeah. in El Paso? Yeah, funniest that El Paso was the funniest comedian. shit that was said oh, that that's night. that's true. That's that probably I, why he wouldn't win. <laughs> but no, uh, he didn't win. Uh, I, I forgot that's who won. That's why you didn't win, though. Yeah, that's why I didn't like, win. Like, Otis Six came second. Darius is there. I'm to they, they all, yeah. yeah they're and all and there. I want to I work with them, man, because yeah. they got a good fucking scene. I've they, been, yeah, I've been kind of in contact with some of them there. Marco's there, Hobo's there. But Sharita runs a bunch of the mics there now. No she, shit. She has like five. She, I think 
four or five that she sets up the venue and then finds a host for it. And uh-huh. then she'll pop in, do the mic or whatever. But she makes sure she like gets younger comedians hosting. Like she's oh, really okay. fostering talents That's down there. Up. And then she has like a crew that they'll go out to Vegas in her van or down to San Antonio, mm-hmm. Dallas, See, Austin. Like, all that. And she said it people, hopefully, you know, if she was ever up here, I'll put her on, help put her on some shows, hopefully. Yeah. And like, you know. Well, Network see, and things, but she was like, "If you guys make it down here, a couple of y'all can get in the van and like ride with us if see, you want." I was like, "Let's do my, it." My Let's thing mix is mix the Southwest scenes and like support each other. My thing is here's where I'm lacking because, you know, it's this is a barter system. It's I put you on, you yeah, put yeah, me yeah, on, yeah, some of that. and I'm lacking on my put you on part because I want to be out there. I don't right. want to just be here and yeah. like I think that's what the part that I'm, but I just don't want to do it because Albuquerque don't have a comedy club. Mm-hmm. And you're doing them in bars, you're doing them in breweries, and and to be honest, the best spots are already taken right now. Yeah, it's true. Th- they are. Let's be real. Yeah. So, you know, it, that's the part. Mm-hmm. But I want to I want to link up with them down there in El Paso. They got they got a lot going on. They got a good scene. Yeah, they, they really do. They're and they're all nice. It's guys. like a family they're, down there. Yeah, they're that's real. What it is. I like that. And like even my cousin was there on her birthday. We went out to a, a mic there or whatever. And then afterwards, she's like, "Oh, we're sorry, we're leaving a little early." Her and her boyfriend. And then like my uncle's like, "Hey, why'd you leave Carla early? Whatever." And uh, they're like, "She was fine. She had like 15 comedians around her just talking with everybody." Yeah. Like I was like, "Yeah, everybody like took me in real whatever." And then because my dad's from there, they said I'm an honorary El Paso comedian. I guess you know what my problem is more. though. Like people forget I'm older. I'm about to be 43. Like, I'm not getting in a van with 15 fucking people yeah, yeah, yeah. and driving yeah, nowhere. You're not doing the 22 year old shit. Yeah, yeah. I'm not doing that. I'll tell me where to be and I'll be there. I'll meet you there. <laughs> yeah. like, I, I need to listen my to my own, own music, drive yeah. my own fucking yeah. car, feel comfortable. <laughs> yeah, my yeah. own gas. I, 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 I'll I'm girl. cool. I'm self sufficient. Like, Just show job. me what time I need to be there and I'll, I'll be get my there. My own hotel room. <laughs> yeah. Um, oh, this, definitely. <laughs> this is what I wanted to ask you about. Yeah. Um, I don't know how long we're going, but oh, I, I got a lot of shit to fucking talk about. What time is it? Oh, yeah. We just fucking. Okay. Uh, what do you feel about comedians? They can be local, whatever. Loving the fact of the grind. Like they love the I'm broke. I want to drive to Denver and <laughs> do shit. It's kind of like and where I'm at love, right now. <laughs> How do you feel about that? Because I have a different perspective on this. Um, because I think to well, before I say different. that, you go ahead. Go I have ahead. a few perspectives. Go ahead. Go ahead. Um, I think it definitely depends where the per- person at is at in their lives. Like, do they have kids? Do they have something that's supporting, like a whatever thing? Because right now I am like a broke comedian and kind of doing that. But do you revel in it though? Um, do you do you wear it as a badge of honor? Oh no. Okay, that's what I'm saying. That's I mean, what I I'm wish I, I fucking wish I had the money to go out of town every weekend and like do yeah. whatever and not have to like be worried about the shows and paying for the hotel room or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I would love that, but I do get that there are some people that are like, oh man, I'm gonna like move right now and just like give up everything and just live <laughs> on the streets See? if I have to. Yeah. And um. I'm more like I'm gonna stay here with my apartment because it's cheap and yeah. like go out of town here when and there. You can. But everybody does it different, you know. Right, everybody right, right. does, and everybody has a different goal in it. Right. So if somebody's just happy being, you know, I got a lot of friends that just love being Albuquerque comedians. They That's don't cool. even want to be on that many shows. They just love going out to mics and just like popping out, you know, yeah. having fun, and that fills a part of the scene too. But then there are the people, that, yeah, that are whatever. We're broke, or they. Yeah, you're right. It's like you we're cool comedians. Yeah, we're look, y'all gotta stop that shit, man. That's not. That's not real. That's not... It's not sustainable. No, don't... Look, if I see someone and they're reveling in being downtrodden, I'm not fucking with you. Like, And a lot of comedians use that as their struggle. Yeah, their struggle, yeah. And, like, oh, that's right. not a struggle. No, like, no. You know, that's a choice. That's a choice. Yeah. There's like, a difference right. between struggle and choice. Oh, yeah, I, I am fully, like, know that I'm privilege in the way that it's a choice to do comedy yeah. and do my life how I am at the moment. Well, you know, I've made money before and was unhappy. And not saying like I'm not going to make money again, but right now I'm like, yeah. oh, I'm pretty happy with comedy, but I could add money to it. Yeah, but what I'm saying is the majority of comics been yeah. fucked up during their childhood. Yeah. yeah. That yeah. kind of shit. Yeah. And that's yeah. what makes a good comedian. And yeah. some of them try to fuck them up now. Well, they fuck themselves, keep themselves fucked up. Well, and that's probably part of it is all the childhood trauma is playing out now. And they're just like, well, I'm not good enough to have a real life. So I'm just going to like be really good at having a bad. No, life. there's some <laughs> comics out there that use that as that's what is making them a comic is the right. struggle. Mm-hmm. The struggle. Yeah. Well, the reason I mean, why I brought it up. You do have to give a lot up to do it constantly. The reason why I brought it up is because I remember when I first started and there was a comedian who told me, 
oh, th- you're not built for this. You have a real job and all this. And oh, I was no. like, it's like, yeah, I got real children. Well, I had a daughter, just one then, but right. it's like I have responsibilities. Like so I'm that, saying, that yeah. within itself is. You got to juggle it. Mm-hmm. Like, so responsible to yeah, be like a broke like, comedian. Yeah, yeah, that's not, yeah. yeah like yeah. it's this isn't like it's even lesser. You you have a better chance of winning the fucking lottery. You know what I'm saying? Than saying I'm going to just be in my car and just mm-hmm. roughing it and showing up and get discovered. Like that's yeah, not Netflix how it works. Special next yeah. Year. yeah. Yeah, I, I understand there's love and passion, but you got to take care of yourself first, man. You got to, true. you have, not, I'm talking about financially, health-wise, all that shit, because if you're not good in those, those places, it's going to show when you get on fucking stage. Oh, for sure. You, or or yeah. you're not going to last long. You're going to fucking die, like real shit. Mm-hmm. Like, <laughs> I'm just saying, think, of, think, of, think about all the, the, the greats. It's true. Nobody gave a fuck about their personal yeah. lives. Yeah, they were killing themselves. Yeah. They and people were, think yeah. that's like what you... Mitch Hedberg. No yeah, yeah, people think that's what I have to do to be I a successful comic. I think maybe that comic. era, yeah, that era of comedy really put it. When now new comedians are coming out now coke. are way gotta, more put together. I gotta do more. pills. I don't, I don't think so. Some I gotta of do, them, the ones that are getting bigger. I don't think new comedians are any different than the old comedians. I don't think so The ones that are like... Uh, I don't think more so either. like featured and like having specials and stuff are seem a little more about self care than they used to. I think that's I think that's the culture now though, Larry. But I'm self care. But I'm talking more, about yeah, yeah, I'm talking about not the the higher I'm talking about just the regular everyday. I've seen too many people think I gotta live like a rock star, I gotta have a vice, I gotta be on pills and coke and the, like nah bro like Mm-hmm. Yeah, love yourself first. Like they think it makes them in- interesting. Yeah, well, people think that if they, you're happy. They that think that's it takes what it's about. The that's the scene. Yeah, just like I was saying, yeah. like the people are afraid to like uh, have good things happen or whatever. And so I think when people think they're happy, they're gonna lose yeah. their edge yeah. to do comedy or something. You know, which is silly. They're it's like, funny. I got to keep myself down to be funny. It's funny that I say that. I quit my job what a little more what two months ago. Oh, for real? Yeah, yeah. I was. I quit. Years. I was. Ten I years? worked. I worked for the state of New Mexico for ten years. And Thank like I said, the, the, the Rona opened my eyes to a lot of shit. Like, I'm not doing enough. I could be doing so much more with my time, with my interests, things that I want to do. And I, can, and I can sustain the lifestyle. That's what I want to ask you about. I was like, how do you make all that work? You have, you know, comedy, three different things happening. Mm-hmm. Well, you know, you have the hustle, you have the podcast, you have comedy and mm-hmm. town, you have your daughters, and then you, at the time, had your career and all mm-hmm. that, and a relationship, and, like, how... Do you just wake up hella early? <laughs> no, I would, I would actually let six do everything besides... No, I'm just playing. <laughs> besides six is fuck, my bitch. Besides <laughs> fucking my girl. No, I'm just playing. Uh, uh, no, I, I, I prioritize things. So... With my job, I was there so long. They let me, I was what was called a, a, a provider field representative. That okay. means I could go out throughout the state, teach people how to bill Medicaid claims, give trainings, all this stuff. Oh, so that's what I you was, did. I had a lot of freedom. Mm-hmm. So, and that was my crutch for the longest. I'm mm-hmm. like, hey, I'm making this good money. I'm making 23 bucks an hour. Yeah, so I'm tying you down. You know what I'm saying? Much. And I don't, I don't have to be just sitting there. But then, a lot of other things were coming up where I was missing the opportunities because of my job. And I was like, mm, this yeah, ain't cool. And so the Rona hit, start working from home. Mm-hmm. Then that's when I was like, oh, this is, I can do anything now. Cause he'll tell you, shit, I was doing podcasts while on the clock. I'm fucking, yeah. I'm oh, fucking. Yeah. podcast. <laughs> I'm fucking. Well, because his job could let him do that. And yeah. you know, a lot of these employers now think that you being inside, the, it's a control issue. It's a, it's a, yeah. it's a, I need to watch you. Yeah, I, I need, need to, to watch you. And he was true. doing yeah. his job. I was doing my shit. People are yeah. learning, remote I was doing learning my shit from my phone, remote. literally, from my laptop. Yeah, the working is. All, I was, I done. would be on meetings before our. These motherfuckers would add, call him up and ask, like, ask he was the top shit. dog guy. Yeah. Oh, where nice. they would ask him they shit. They would ask So it nice wasn't like he wasn't doing his job. Yeah, I was doing it. You were like on call in time for these people. So I I knew it. I knew. My, my thing was, it's not knowing the answer, just know where to find it. Because uh-huh, yeah. the answer always going to change, mm-hmm, but you mm-hmm. just need to know where to find it. So I, I kind of got comfortable, but all these opportunities came up. The radio, we were doing the podcast. I'm getting booked left and right. 
I was like, what are you going to do? Because you can't keep doing both of these, all these right. things. Right, yeah, something's going to fall. So I was like, also what I was doing on the clock, I was driving, I was doing Instacart. Yeah, he I'm, was like, oh, he I'm making, I was making, yeah. bruh. You're still making bank. Still making, I ain't going to tell you how much, but yeah. You still do Instacart? Hell, oh, shit, Jesus. I just came from it to come to this right, motherfucker. I need to do he that. makes way more yeah. money than Because I do I'm, Uber Eats, but Instacart would be better than one blam oh, instead yeah. of like a bunch of things. I need to talk to you about it, but yeah, but. Yeah, man, I was making more doing that shit than my regular job. The fucking rich people tip a lot. And Let's I was like, that. "Oh yeah, I love deliveries out like in fancy neighborhoods." <laughs> and I was like, "You know what? Nah, bro, this is a sign. You need to take that leap. Take mm -hmm. that. Do it." Well, a lot of other things came into place. My oldest daughter, the child support, I finished. She turned eighteen. Oh, she graduated. Yeah. So I was One like, big "Bill out of your life." I was like, "You know what? Fuck that." And Larry didn't believe it. Larry was like, "You did what?" You know, white people are about day jobs. Yeah, I couldn't shit. believe it. Dude. I was like, what the fuck? Ten years? You're making all that money? But they, they pushed me into it. It wasn't like I just, I was thinking about it already. Oh, no, they definitely pushed it. They, I, I was thinking about it already, but because I was like, if I go back to the office, I ain't going to be able to do a lot of this stuff. Right. But I love it. Yeah, they were pushing for him for their to, go to go back to the office. To go yeah. back because I've like, been out of the fuck? office for like, way I'm more free, than a year. I'm not going to be captured. Yeah, again. but and, what the fuck for? Like, but so something happened right before then, and it was like, oh, that's it, I'm out. And so that's yeah, Dang. I've been doing it ever since. Yeah, dude, how are you feeling? Like, friends? oh, I feel so much. Even this, like, say if I had, if I was working, I would have to manipulate or come up with some shit to come over here like yeah two, so it was you know like 2 like, p.m i was like but i can do it too <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like, I I had a day job. no 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 he's awesome, a full-fledged comedian now I'm a, yeah. that, and that was another thing congrats, i was like dude. but like i said you guys you still do something have yes. a hustle or something because you yeah. have to feed yourself take care of yourself if you have children there's a lot of comedians who do or don't have children take care of your Either responsibilities way. first and that was my thing. I was like, I got to take care of my responsibilities first instead of running after this dream. But I was dipping my toe well, in both. Right. And well, even like now doing it, it's like if you would have done it back then, like now you've had more experience in the comedy and yeah. you have like a stability within it, a base, yeah. at least you don't yeah. have, you know, you've already established yourself in yeah. a way and South what in different yeah. scenes or whatever, you know how to work the scene, you put on yeah. show, you know, so like. It makes sense at this point yeah. for you to do yeah. it instead of just being like a new comedian, like I'm giving up everything. Yeah, right I'm now. just here. I just have the clothes on my back and yeah. a quarter tank of gas. <laughs> like, no, no, that's not that's not smart, man. You gotta be smart. Dude, congrats! Um, that's so exciting. Yeah, it is, okay. man. I've been. Larry's been like, damn, dude, you ain't doing shit. What? Larry's like, I, I, uh, he was like, I text you and you didn't answer. Your ass was sleep, and I was like, no, I actually, I actually get up earlier now. That's the crazy part. I get up at six thirty every fucking morning. Like that's crazy. Because you don't feel like the anxiety of like yeah. you have to get oh, up. Oh my god. Oh yeah, I'm so like oh. defiant. I'm like when I have to be somewhere, I'm just like. Oh, I gotta clock in at eight, and I got a <laughs> meeting at eight thirty. I'm like, ah. Oh. And he would tell you, I would have the meeting on my phone. Oh, it's just <laughs> stupid shit. And I'll be like, about. oh my god, dude, what, this can't be my life. You're I don't want muted. this. Like, yeah, I'm, I'm yeah. talking hella shit, and they'd be like, "Well, Robert, what about them?" I'd be like, oh. "I don't." And I have to fuck. put on my, I gotta put on my white people work yeah, voice. You should hear his fucking voice on a work, 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 work No, work uh, no, no, Karen. I, I think you should uh, oh, look into the voice. manual of two point five seven. Oh, why didn't I think of that? Thanks, Rob. <laughs> no problem. <laughs> These motherfuckers. Yeah. <laughs> Put him on mute talking hell of shit. Drinking. Oh, I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm on the show. Drinking. We shit. did it. We, when we started doing the Friday podcast. Did you have one of those? Oh, my God. Because oh, yeah. I had my meetings at 830. Or when so me funny. and Six would, when we were on our workout <laughs> kick, we would be at the park, mm -hmm. at the dog park about to run. I'm like, hold up. I got to take my meeting. I'm running. And Six was cracking. He's like, man, if I had a job like that. I would have a job. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, nah, it ain't all cracked up to be. Uh -uh. So I can't be yeah. call Take care like of that. your responsibilities first. Make sure that foundation is good, like you said, and everything else will fall into place. Yeah. Yeah. Instead of starting from nothing. It's like yeah. the Maslow's hierarchy of needs triangle. Yeah. yeah. Isn't it? 
and it's not. Look it up. Well, this isn't the old days either. This isn't like where you could do that and roll up to the world famous comedy store and and you know get a residency and shit. It's not like that. Yeah, it's not. It's not like the old days where you were calling up Mm -hmm. bookers. Yeah, it's all done from the comedian. I like the comedian. The comedian now is self sustainable. Yep. They don't need fucking fuck all anymore. It's nope. true. We don't need yep. like much anymore. All we they need, need is to know a fucking how to do camera it. Yeah. and yep. some social media bit yeah, to promote that's yourself. It. That's true. Listen, listen to how she's changed. She's talking about social media. I remember she. Working. I remember I first said social media to her. She cringed. She was like, Facebook. she was like, I don't know. Getting really. better at Facebook. She was, she was all like, I don't know. They're crawling like, sideways though. <laughs> It's just like, ah, uh, that thing of like, I don't know. The likes don't really matter, but then you're like, you want the light, and then you're like, what is, is it the matter? opening up yourself to all these different people and entities and all that? Uh, because if sometimes. that's what it is, no. th- you don't have to open yourself. You can be a whole it's fucking not, character. I am like very uh, open, yeah. and like on stage, like I'm very much myself. It's not the opening up, I think it's... Yeah, more the, like, why do I, should why I even you, be on here? Why yeah, do I deserve why do to even I be in people's do, faces? Yeah, why is this a thing? Like, yeah. I, I'm, like, apologizing. Like, sorry I'm in your face right now. You know, like, <laughs> oh, I don't know. Like but me. See, but when you're like that, there's 50 million of you that look at that and be like, finally, someone like me. So it's yeah, okay. Yeah, I guess you're right. See what I'm saying? Yeah, you're, you're yeah. right. People relate. Because even now, um, I had somebody come up to me and they're like, hey, yeah, I saw you before COVID. Um and you did these dead mom jokes or whatever. He's like, next time I see you, can you do one of those again? He's like, because like my mom died and I just love that you did that. that's what I'm saying. And he told me, and I remembered him from that set before because it was like one of Comedian's boyfriends and he was like, yeah, I'm in the Dead Moms Club too. Mm-hmm. And he told me back, I was like, oh, cool. And then, yeah, somebody else at a side one, they was like, hey, are you the one that does the ASMR joke? And I'm like, yeah. yeah. He was like, cool, because my hair was different or whatever. He's like, mm-hmm. oh my God, I love that. And I see, brought it out again for him that about. night. And, I remember the, but it's well, cool, you're right. Like people do end up relating or they like things. Or, that's like when like you a lot of people relate to Buck and his mom being they a do. And Oh, yeah. And or not. Mean, shit, I didn't meet my mom until I was 21. Never met my dad. Um, my mom, she stole like over $3,000 from me when she, we first oh, met. Oh, lovely. When they first when met. We first after met. After ever. Who raised you? His my grandma. mom's oldest well, sister. Yeah, okay. Right. Well, she didn't write. Uh, you raised yourself. Yeah. <laughs> I raised my mom. Pretty much. I was, but. if you call abuse, raising. <laughs> Jesus. You're like, I had a roof it's over my head. It's motherfucking laughing. Like, that's fucked up. <laughs> I've mean, <laughs> heard the story. That's some that, demented the, shit. I've huh? heard the ice cream story. I've heard Bro, like, the no, beat your no, ass no. story. You know what? I just, I was on, because even though I can't get on Facebook or post nothing, I, you <laughs> know, the memories out. on this day. Mm-hmm. So my birthday September 5th. Oh, nice. Maybe, I want to say maybe six years ago, my mom pops up in my, because she saw when I was doing like internet radio, so she pe- keeps up. Like she's waiting for me to be famous. Mm. Oh yeah, she, oh, yeah. She, yeah. I, I already. She like, she's like, man, yeah. she waiting. She talks to me like I'm five years old. Hey, sweet honey bun. Hey, I'm like, bitch, I'm damn near a middle aged man. Like, so she. Jeez. This is so funny because I used to talk. About, I need to bring this back because I used to do this in my stand up. She inboxes me and she goes. What's, she calls me uh, little baby. <laughs> no, big baby. Hey, what's up, big baby? She talks like a gangster. Like, what's oh, up, big okay. baby? Uh, what's up? Uh, I just want to be the first to tell you happy birthday. It's August 22nd. That's not what? his birthday. <laughs> And I said, bitch, wow. bitch. That's some bullshit. You missed that by oh, two weeks. You missed it. <laughs> We're almost and so oh I was, I was, and I say, I was like, man, I don't know if she's hella early or she's like hella late. Like, I don't know. <laughs> like, like, is this birthday makeup for all the other I don't know if I should be like, she's up. trying to get a jump on it or this is from last year. Like, I don't yeah. know. <laughs> Like, Let me be the first one this year to tell she's you. She's like, I know it. it's somewhere oh August, God. September. You told she was wrong. No, I didn't say shit. Like she still Jeez. inboxes me. I don't say nothing. It's just That's like, good. Dang. well, I, look. And one thing I did do, I I let go all that hurt and all that, because like you said, when you harbor shit like that, mm-hmm. nothing good comes. So once I let that go, like a, a lot of positive shit started happening. It's true. Even but, your own negative stuff of yeah. letting go. Yeah. And there's no ill will, but I'm still going to be me. I'm going to make jokes. The shit is fucking yeah. funny. Like, Dude. How would you shit. feel if your mom did you like that? Like, when's your birthday? February 17th. So January 31st or January 30th, whatever. 
Hey, just wanted to say happy, happy birthday. birthday. <laughs> You'd be like, what the fuck? The only like minor <laughs> equivalent. Are you going on vacation? Yeah, no, like, are, are you planning on <laughs> checking out? On are you not going to be here on my birthday? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You're going to be dead by then? What's going on here? Yeah. yeah, the only like minor of that was uh, when I was like in high school. My dad had like left with another lady when I was like 13, 14. I don't know. He was out of my life for like a few years. Yeah. And then my mom had to hit him up like out of the blue to be like, we're going to Mexico, but I got I can't, gotta get your like approval we had to have a letter to go through the border and be there i don't know where yeah, to yeah, that. Yeah. you have joint and you have to both, shit, yeah. both yep. parents mm -hmm. so he like signed the letter and he got the he got february right but he got both the day he said february 16th <laughs> and 1985 Yo. and i'm like i'm 86 so my dad like we were stalled by like two oh, or three days going to mexico that. because he, he had to get a new letter because it's a stupid birthday i'm like thanks dad and my, he was like oh it's because your sister's april 16th so i thought yours was the 16th i'm like what oh. that makes no sense. <laughs> That's why, fellas, you get a tattoo of your kid's birthday. Is that on why you. they do it? They do That's the names and tattoos <laughs> yeah, so they remember. My oldest my tat is right here, <laughs> and the reason why I can remember Tasia's is because it's January the fifth, mm. and my birthday is September the fifth. Twenty eighteen is hers, so yeah. My grandma's is September fifth. But no, nah, my my mom, she just didn't know. I think she she had to go to the state of California Vital Records to find out my birthday. Mm. And she just was like, ah, it's somewhere it around here. I remember having a kid somewhere around this time. In it was late summer. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Jesus. I don't know where he is. I think this is the guy. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. It, like. Because you were born where, though? I was born in L.A. L.A., okay. Yeah. Yep. You guys are both Dr. California Martin Luther kids. King Jr. Uh, I was born in Hospital. Long Beach. Riverside. Was born in L.A., yeah. Yep. Oh, okay. You was born. You were born in Long Beach. Yeah, Long Beach General. LBC. I didn't know that. Yeah. Wow, I didn't know that. That's yeah. why it's L L J L B C. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I was I was born in Martin Luther King Hospital before it turned into Martin Luther King Jr. King Drew Hospital. Because <laughs> they put the the last Drew shit on there later. It's like a whole sentence. Yeah, yeah. It's like damn. <laughs> Shout out to Wilmington. Uh, yeah, man. That's. I like I like this podcast, bro. You know why you don't ask these bullshit vanilla questions? Oh, I just gotta um, come up with what's happening. The two, I just like the, to get the no, two to podcasts know that I like are, is is this one. Just what well, those three? It's it's on hell's. Kurt, yeah. I like Kurt's because Kurt is like having a conversation with him. Even though yeah. we did it over Skype or whatever, it was it was a dope yeah. conversation. And then this one, just the layout Thanks. and then. Yeah, 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 yeah. Do you? Like are, is it? So this is number ten. Mm -hmm. um, oh, ask me some. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, <laughs> I got to get in my bag. Uh, uh, so this is number ten. Yeah. Have, have you had any guests? Like, there's only been nine, <laughs> but have you had any guests? Yeah, I didn't have, one on the have you have any guests where it was kind of like hard, like open? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. The, uh, Miss Albuquerque, Miss Albuquerque. love Felicia, great person. Yeah. But yeah. because I didn't know her really out in the real world, but maybe four or five times meeting, just like, hey, you know, and nice Do you cities. think you need to know someone to do this? No. Okay. No, because you can interview anybody. I think but she was a she, little nervous. Yeah. Because she, she's trying yeah, to Yeah, I met her, and I know she's and nervous. And I think it's because she's representing something that's yeah. bigger than her. Yeah. So it took about maybe probably the first half or at yeah. least 20 minutes for me to, like, feel like I was getting through to her deeper as a person. Right, right, you know? right. And, like, finding out her interests. We started talking about art and started talking about her working with, like, you know, um, people who have struggled with addiction and yeah, things. Yeah, so, you yeah. know, we started to bring it out. But I feel like I can be put with any random person, yeah. any age, yeah, any yeah. gender, any yeah. race, and, like, find yeah. something to talk about. Even if we don't agree, like, I just like to get yeah, to know yeah, people. Yeah. That's what's up. Um, I, I want to uh, see. That's why I didn't want the uh, what is it Felicia? Yeah, Felicia. That's why I didn't want that's her hard. on ours while she was running. I wanted yeah, that, that shit to be over. Went over, with. yeah. And then she was <laughs> trying to come on the uh, mid midday mayhem as well. And I was like, look, I know you've seen me do stand up, and you've seen I do all this other stuff, and you want to get attached to it, mm -hmm. but I don't want to be responsible for fucking your shit up, like right. because I'm gonna be me. Now I don't. You're the one that's attached to whatever mm -hmm. entity, Miss Albuquerque, all that yeah, shit. Yeah, they're really strict about shit. Yeah, yeah. They so are. And I plus, asked I don't. You before, what yeah, I don't want. About. I don't want to be restricted on what the fuck we want to talk about. I did ask you before. She's like, no sex, no drugs, See? no. You well, know, and I was well, like, okay. I'm just gonna be sitting there looking at you then. Yeah, but. If she becomes a bitch, alcohol and weed. Yeah, yeah. Drunk yeah. bitches coming Hell over. yeah, that's what I'm saying. Some like, chick underneath the bed in six yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Some chick underneath the bed in Six's room. Yeah, oh just, she's all chained up, can't come out. <laughs> <laughs> it's fun times over there, guys. Man, yeah. nah, but see, that's why, you know. Yeah, I think, that, but, uh, I think that was probably the only guess. Most of the other ones I like knew already, right? Yeah. yeah. But this yeah. is good. This is going to... Um, 
this is gonna help your resume and then open you up for other things. Trust me, a lot of people, y'all don't think that podcasts and just interviewing people helps. It fucking helps. Mm -hmm. It also helps with the way you present yourself in public. Oh, um, right. Being in a professional, because yeah. we can't be like this all the fucking no. time. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, so, yeah, that, that'll Looking help you. It, different. it has already. Use, it as, and a, then, use um, it as a springboard. People don't understand that either. Everything you do is a springboard <clears throat> to something else. And I'm trying, yeah, to do things like this, like being at Silver, and we'll have two of them plays here at some time because they're in the music scene, and yeah. the other one has, like, a chocolate company, and, they, you know, they have a lot of things to talk about with LGBTQ. I want to bring in different people from different yeah, scenes, get different up. eyes on it, just like you guys have a lot of different yeah. guests from different walks of life, yeah. which I really like. Um, so, yeah, get different eyes on them, on me. I've already had people from... Um, because um, James Gabe hit me up from a different podcast and be like, hey, I've never met you, but we have like similar friends. Like, yeah. do you want to cross promote? And I was yeah. like, I mean, let me know. Yeah, like be on his yeah. podcast. He'll be on mine. I already did that with Zach, you know, yeah. just trying to, well, obviously with you guys being on both. Well, and see, that's what I, Larry. <laughs> well, I like doing stuff that's different because for whatever reason, people don't think I can do. Sh I'm like, y'all don't know me. Like, y'all understand, like, I've been in the military. Mm -hmm. Well, fuck the military. <laughs> I had to be a whole different person at home. Military, workplace, coming here not knowing a fucking soul. Right, yeah, yeah. Like, y'all don't, you, you have to be able to pivot. You can't be set in your way. That's exactly what I did when I came here. I didn't know nobody. I didn't know a soul, nobody. bro. Nobody. Nobody. No, nobody. Yeah. And I was like, you have to, you, you can't just look at someone and say, oh, this is how they are they won't fuck with me or I won't fuck with them. Yeah, you can't judge a book by no. the cover ever. No. People no. are a lot more uh, layered than we think, you know. I yes. mean, some things, some qualities are definitely like that's their characteristic. Yeah, yeah, people yeah. are ever changing, ever growing, even from being a teacher. You know how you'll see family and they like make you feel like you're young again? You know, like they yeah, make yeah, yeah. you like, like in the kid role and you're like, yeah. I'm a fucking adult. You're like, like I didn't what pass the that shit. Like, I'm because you didn't, Just because like, you didn't bother to yeah, get to know me. Like, like, I love my yeah. dad, but even recently we had a thing where it's like, dad, I know I've never been married. I don't have kids, whatever, but... You can't talk to me like a kid. I am still a 35 year old. Ooh, I've been through shit. some shit. Like, Ooh. just because he'll like. You hurt him. You hurt yeah. my heart as and a father. Mean, oh. it was like, oh. I know. I, I get to him. <laughs> it feels like she just it took was, it. Yeah. Like, like, Listen, you old motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> like, kind of, I'm kind of the only I'm one a that grown ass my dad, woman so. now. I'm fucking now. How about that? <laughs> I don't want to hear that shit from my daughter. Dude. That's what it sounds I'm like. That's, that's the polite yeah, exactly. way. You're like, I'm fucking now. I take dick. I eat yeah, pussy. So I like women. I like everything. You be like, hey, yeah. like, I know. I've tried to tell him I'm queer. And he's just like, ooh. You're like, la, 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 like, interesting. Yeah, yeah. Like, ugh. I don't want to know your sexual shit. Yeah, yeah. We're all different people, and we have to allow each other, even as friends and family members, to grow. Because we're, if... If you're not stuck in your ways, people are always growing and changing. So yeah. I think you have to let yourself grow too, yeah. um, be a better person. Because and a lot of that is learning from other people, learning from that's, yourself. There you go. Um, you have that's to. That's why learn. I like these things. You stop being in the same. If you want to learn and grow, don't live at the same fucking place for your whole life. Get that out too. That part too. Be, that yeah. has helped me immensely. That has like, helped me immensely. Yeah. Like, being yes, able to too. deal with different cultures. Yes. And I wanted to you do adapt, that. You as have a, to adapt quickly. And, I wanted to do that young. That was one of the sole reasons why I joined the military. I'm move. not patriot. I don't give a fuck about all that. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna go, go see pussy. Yeah, I wanted. I wanted to go over the water on your dime and then learn shit. You know what Where I'm saying? Where did you end up going with? That? Man, let me tell you. So we, the first time we went overseas, is some shit happened with Saddam Hussein. He was still over there in uh, Iraq. We left San Diego, took a beeline to the Middle East. We couldn't, this is before cell phones, like all that. Oh, we couldn't yeah. write, we couldn't email, and we were just on the water for like 20 something days, Damn. not knowing what the fuck. We get there, nothing pops off. We go to Bahrain, we go to fucking Dubai, Kuwait. Then we leave there, we go to Jordan. Jeez. Then we leave Jordan, we went to Eritrea. That's where Nipsey Hussle's that from. That's North. Northeast oh, Africa, right next to Ethiopia. Okay. So okay. they was beefing. He even looks Ethiopian. Yeah, he does. He does. If you no, take all of that away, they all have those facial features. Yeah, Arab. interesting. Yeah. So we go over there, and they were beefing. Like, I didn't know none of this shit. I was like, just, I want to go. Yeah. They were beefing with Ethiopia, little-ass country. And 
when I grew up, Ethiopia was kids with flies in their eyes, pot Big bellies. And sh- I'm like, how do mm-hmm. Sally you- Struthers over like, there, like, like aren't you Sunday? hungry? <laughs> how are you fighting? You know, how are you starting a war? You're hungry. You go eat. Like, chill out. It's hot. You're poor. How are you yeah. fighting and starting wars and shit? Like, yeah, mm-hmm. like, where are you buying mm-hmm. these? Is this what you do with these five Take cents a day? First. Are you are you buying fucking yeah. rocket launchers out of? Black Gun market powder. with our nickels that we send over with Sally Trust. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so I get over there and open, you know, mm-hmm. open my eyes. I, and then this is where I started questioning religion, Christianity. Mm-hmm. You meet these people who've been on earth way before Christianity, mm-hmm. their, their religion. And so I'm like, man, how are they wrong? Wow, yeah, yeah. How, how are you going to go somewhere that's never knew about any of this and tell them, unless you follow what we say is right, you're going to hell and you're yes. condemned. I'm like, no. So we left there. After we left Eritrea, it was all party time. We left there. We went to Thailand. Oh. Phuket, Thailand for like two weeks. Phuket. That place was awesome. Left there and went to Singapore. Went to Hong Singapore Kong. Singapore is fucking crazy. S- Singapore is You drop the a clean- cigarette. Yeah. You smoke a cigarette yeah. and you're going to, you're getting your head cut off. Really? Say, say I drink that thing, right, that yeah. water, and I'm on, and uh, maybe the top falls off. You will get lashes. You will get arrested. For the dropping something? You could, you could sit on their fucking sidewalks and streets and eat. Their shit is yeah, immaculate. It's immaculate. Like it's everything nice is over clean. there. It's clean. They don't play so the that shit. The pictures are like, you know, you see pictures uh, places and they only show the like, nice spot. No, like no that's, all, that's all the nice Oh, yeah, that's it. It, it. That's that's Singapore. So but they we, didn't have many COVID problems. Just kidding. Yeah, real <laughs> shit. Too clean. Went there and then uh, we went to Hong Kong. Then we went to Australia, like Perth, all through oh, there. Australia then we went cool. to Hawaii. And then came, well, cool. Guam, Hawaii, and then came Damn, back. Damn, you yeah. ever? Because some people in the military for that amount of time, they're like, I went one state. Nah, I went nah. one. When you're, oh, Marines, dude, Marines are oh, yeah, always, Marines they, we are just the hop right, on right. the fucking Navy ships and that's we just true. go. Where were you, uh, like, where was your base? Um, I had two. So I was in, it was called El Toro in Orange County. Uh-huh. Then that closed, and then I went down to Oceanside, which is Pendleton? Uh, Pendleton? Camp Pendleton. Yep. That's where my sister's yep. uh, ex huge, was for a while. Huh? I think he was probably there at the same time you were. Fucking huge. Ain't yeah, it? it's yep. enormous. My grandpa was there as well. My yep. sister lived in the Oceanside for a while, but yep. that place is wild. Yep. Um, yeah, he was. I think his uh, my sister's ex's troop was like the first to enter the Iraq border, like oh, yeah. when shit went down at 9/11. Yeah. Because he was in from like 98 to like I don't know. Well, I was a shit bag, so I don't know. That's that well, shit but you got to, to see a bunch of places, man. <laughs> yeah, you learn yeah. a lot. Yeah. You learn a lot about yourself. I mean, yeah. traveling, well, traveling, moving from national parks yeah. and not every year and a half to new places. Yeah. Really interesting. You meet a lot of interesting people. Well, see, and, that's why when I got out, I was like, I don't want that to be my only experience in traveling. When yeah. I got out, a lot of people think it takes all you this money to travel. It doesn't. You were, it does not take much at all. Buck is always like, one day I'll see Buck, and the next day he's on some island. I'm like, how did he get, like, <laughs> this man teleporting? What is happening? I just yeah, saw him the last of, night at midnight, and went. now at 8 a.m., he's on a beach somewhere. Yeah, like, you got to go, on? man. This life is going to be here. Yeah, like, I, I just don't want to be old and be like, man, I never Missed did out. this. I never did yeah. that. And Fuck, so during the Rona, the plane tickets were so fucking cheap. So yeah, so and I told people, I was like, y'all take advantage of this shit. Like, because I had been, um, me and my girl, me and Jill, we I took her to Maui for her birthday. Nice. Because she wanted, this was, wow. what, seven, eight years ago. She wanted to go. She wanted to go to San Francisco. And I was like, do you know it's cheaper to go to Hawaii than San Francisco? Oh. Because she had never traveled like yeah. that. And I was like, yeah. So we went. And then we broke up. And this is, we, we're back together now. So I was like, for my birthday, I want to go to Honolulu. Because I've been there before. Mm-hmm in the military, but I didn't really get loose. And I was like, we're not going to stay in Honolulu, like Pearl Harbor, all that bullshit. Oh, yeah. We're going to stay <laughs> on the South Park. Yeah. Live like the people. I get love an Airbnb. That yeah, I'd rather and, do that than yeah. feel like a tourist. Yeah, somewhere. that's what we did in Jamaica. I wasn't going to stay at the Hinduism bullshit. Yeah, <laughs> you like, you want to steal the real stuff. Well, plus, it was during the Rona, so everything was shut the fuck down in Honolulu anyway. Mm-hmm. I said, let's go to the other side. where I, kn- I said, the locals aren't chilling, bro. They're they're doing their thing, and that's exactly what happened. So then, my sister's birthday is in March, March the 9th. I was like, sis, where you wanna go? So I said, let's go to Puerto Rico. 
For real? I was like, it's cheap. Let's nice. go. I said, but let's not stay in San Juan because San Juan is basically it's fucking, a tourist trap. It's Touristy, just a, yeah. it's a fucking barrio in New York. <laughs> it's like nothing. Like <laughs> you go, we stayed in Quebradilla. It's like not, an hour not away. Like that, but everything's more expensive at those places. Yeah, yeah. that's like, true in the big you know, cities. Like, yeah, you're getting, so, you're getting a cheaper deal. Yeah, we, we, we went there. We were in old San Juan, fucking uh, the hood. What was the hood? What was the hood called? Oh, Alta something. Nah, nah. The the back street where they where they did the oh, video. Oh, yeah, uh, all the fucking. Despacito. That's what they oh, did. Uh, what the fuck I is that place to called? I that song the other day. Yeah. Anyway, it's the hood. When you go there, you, <laughs> they're, they're you look. They're selling COVID You're at the end of San Juan, and you look down, and you hear the music and the people, and you're oh, like. Nice. I was like, yeah, that's where I want to go. You can feel and the it was, city. And it was like it was like Puerto Rican Mardi Gras. It was people packed yes. just walking, and we were like, oh, bro, we're gonna get the Rona, man. Fuck it. <laughs> they so that was doing. Yeah, what was it like in Puerto Rico though? Because I mean, there's been fucking, hurricanes like a motherfucker. Well, yeah, you could see a lot of that shit was fucked up. Yeah, but they're doing they, a lot of rebuilding. But they're Puerto Ricans, shit. They're like every other ethnic group. They make shit happen. They have fun. It's very true, man. Did you know that in Puerto Rico that um, when they get goods from ships, that they have to be offloaded in the United States yep. and then reboarded with all the products for yep. Puerto Rico on a different, on a different U.S. One. ship yep. and then transported what? to the island. And that shit is expensive, Like, too. China can't so ship time. there. Nobody can ship there directly. You nope. have to go through the United States. That's some yeah. bullshit. Yeah. Yeah. It just takes them so much longer to get shit, and too. And it's 20, 20% more expensive because of the tariffs and all that yep. shit. Yep. That's such bullshit. We and treat then, Puerto Rico like shit, dude. And then we went to, uh, for my girl's birthday, we went to St. Thomas. Ah, oh, that's Virgin Islands. Islands. Virgin that Islands. that that was my favorite. That one, yeah. That was oh man, it was so laid back. We we didn't stay in a resort. We did the Airbnb mm-hmm. out in the fucking jungle. That shit was dope. How long that were you there? Dope. Shit, over a week. Dude, yeah, that's amazing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yes, because like a Iguanas week. Iguanas really just feel... walking across the street. No yeah. way, yeah. cute. And they weren't moving either. It was like we live here. Fuck y'all. <laughs> <laughs> when I went to Jamaica, what they had that? fucking lizards on the ceiling. Yeah, what? all that shit. Dude, Parrots, that's awesome. all this shit. See, the animals of other countries is kind of what freaks me out. Like, Australia yeah, seems like rad. Me. No, fuck that. Fuck but, that. like, no. the big ass spiders no. and whatever. Yeah. And, like, in Japan, they say that you can hear, like, the cockroaches walk across the wood yeah. floor. They're so big. They're not called cockroaches. They're actually, because I lived in Japan for 18 oh, months. Oh, that's right. They're called uh, sawdust beetles, but it's something else in Japan. They're like uh, they Japanese, Japanese huge, cockroaches. They have these huge <laughs> pinchers <laughs> on the end of them. Oh, Japanese cockroaches. Yeah. <laughs> and big fucking spiders too. Yeah, I can't. See, I, don't, do I ain't it. with all that shit. Something well, about the like the oxygen and CO two levels, or something about countries that make I can't remember the whole thing that makes uh, things evolve bigger, smaller. Australia is the spot where it's like the land of the lost, man. Oh, they yeah. got so much weird Dude. shit over there. Like, I'm mm-mm. scared. Yeah. Robert Ice Cream is a lot of there. shit in oh, Australia. Real? That'll kill yeah, you. a lot <laughs> of just, shit will kill you. Hell yeah. Yeah, see, that's what I'm a little scared of. Well, even in fucking Mexico, we used to go all the time growing up, at least, at least a couple times a year. But man, the scariest thing down there was just the water. Well, shit, fucking <laughs> like, America. Like, the water. Like, I just get Giardia or whatever. We like, don't have summer. the wild animals that'll kill you. We just got people that'll fucking kill you. Yeah, dude. <laughs> shit, at least you can crazy. see the animal and be like, I'm not fucking with them. Well, Over no, the here, thing you'll you get be shaking like hands a with a fucking black killer. Widow spider or something. You know? Yeah, right. yeah. Real yeah, shit. here we've got America's so wild because it's like they're like, land the free, you can be anything here. I'm like, you can't, you can be the shittiest version of yourself or the best version of yourself. You gotta here. go to different countries to find out how fucked up America is. You yeah. really do. Oh, no, we are you like, really do. it's a fucking bullshit. Even going to Mexico when I was younger, I was yeah. like, yeah. Everything's like, it was just so the juxtaposition was weird. It made me a lot more humble, I think, being here, going and seeing how like my mom's family like lives still. And that's what you know, made me. <laughs> like the one of the a worst marine going overseas and meeting people and like bro what the fuck are we doing like how can we just come somewhere and be like fuck y'all this is our yeah. shit like you know yeah, yeah. Just like, like why don't you know english like how why would they know english they don't have fucking tv we're like the cables. karen of the world or yeah. something yeah yeah it's telling people how to live it's like yeah it's weird annoying. it's weird especially when they're trying to tell you about racism and how fucked up your country is and you you're wearing the flag and they're like why the fuck are you dude when like, i went to do they Jamaica, not like don't they hate you like, when i went to jamaica bush was in office uh-huh. Mm. And oh my God, I got so much shit from Jamaican. That, like, that so probably did. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know? They was like, Bush is your brother. <laughs> like, no, <laughs> motherfucker. 
Nah, get out and travel, oh, man. That's why, that's another reason why you don't want to be broke. Travel. Fuck that. Yeah, that's why I want to get out. Even in America, I haven't seen so many rad ass places. I haven't been to every state. I've been to a lot of them, but yeah. not every one. Yeah, get out. Um, do get shit. out here. I'm gonna. Oh yeah. Uh, speaking of. Uh, we'll have more pre-recorded in November because I'm going to be gone and Larry's going to be gone part of it. So just so you guys know. Where y'all going? Oh, he's going to like Vegas or something. Oh, yeah. The yeah, I'll concert. be going to Vegas. Yeah, hopefully then, keep your fucking fingers and toes yeah, crossed and shit don't close I know. Up. I'm supposed to be going to Portland for Thanksgiving for a couple of weeks. So I'm lucky. I'm my friend's vaccine, having um, so. surgery. Mm. I'm getting the vaccine, so I'm good. Yeah, he's like half vax. I got one more shot left and... Half facts. Did you get the Pfizer or the Moderna? Pfizer. Yeah, yeah I got, I got the Pfizer. You're about to be sick as a dog, bro. Yeah, wow. 24 hours, just block that whole shit off. I'm telling you. Yeah, we'll it just see. felt lethargic. You're going to get sick, bro. You're going to get sick. It's, trust me. It's real lethargic. Just 24 hours. After that, you're straight. Right. What arm did they put it in? Just not um, use that one. Well, it day. might counteract with all the drugs he's done before, and he yeah. might mutate into a new version. A new like, version yeah. of Larry. Larry you know, 2.0. All that wings acid and in shit. his spine. Taking the red pill. Fuck me up. Every time he pops his neck, he gets high. Your Uh-oh. body just literally squirted out the vaccine. It doesn't want it. What's it has rejected on? it. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, that's great. Oh, man. Oh, this man. has been fun, man. This yeah, let's say, I guess we can start wrapping things. We've yeah. almost done like two. Um, what do you got going on soon? Uh, well, by the time they see this, they would have already missed the roast battles. Oh, that's right. On Seven yeah, and we have Gold. roast battles this weekend. Um, We're both doing I that I do Saturday. have. Oh, I. Uh, I'm hosting the state fair oh. from the 9th through the 19th. Um, through the 19th. So this was something that came from the Rona. I used to do a weekly show um, for the African American Performance Arts Center, virtual. Okay. So, and they remember me when I did, when I opened for Joe Torrey, when he was out there. So they hit me up. I was like, hey, we want to do this. Give entertainment during the, the pandemic. Mm-hmm. I was like, yeah. They gave me creative control. It was dope. Like nice. it, it was really nice. I, I just did it at my, at my, at my crib. Um, so same woman hits me up and is like, "Hey, would you be interested in hosting the state fair?" I don't know what they want me to do or whatever, yeah. but you know, yeah, ninth of the nineteenth. So come check me out at the fair. Yeah. I'll be at the main stage every on the weekdays from ten a.m. to four p.m. Weekends ten to ten. Yeah, Dang. God, you're yeah. living on that stage. Yeah. You're doing so what's 12 happening? hours there? I'm not. No, just hosting. I'm oh, not. Okay. I'm not up they there have, talking the whole time. They have like, like music. Fuck. Do they have other yeah, comedians they got all that. They got, they got music. Other... They got all that stuff. So, so I just be, check them out, dude. Yeah, I just say, hey, such and such, boom, let them do their thing. Just yeah. keep it in order. Um, I like hosting. Hosting's fun to me. You're good at it. Hosting is very fun. You yeah. always have good, good energy. Good MC, you keep MC the energy man. flowing. Yeah, and that's what that's what it's about. It's it's different than performing. Mm-hmm. Performing is, um, damn, how, what, I want to say, what is the difference between performing and hosting? Performing, like, you can just do you. Right. You can just do you. And, you, and to be honest, hosting has helped me with the timing. Because hosting, you gotta, it's oh, about time constraint. Right. It's about, you got to hit it, boom, boom. And the radio has actually helped me with that, too. We got two, two minutes, two minutes, 220. Mm-hmm. Larry was there, two minutes. Yeah, I went in there. Dude, no they, more than two minutes, 20 down. seconds. They've got it down. Hit it, get out. Hit it, get out. Yeah, and they're that only was talking kinda, for two minutes in between each song. So. Yeah. Huh. Yeah. And that was kind of hard for me because I'm like a storyteller when it comes to comedy. So, right. you know, you're just yeah. long-winded, and now that's helped me. But, yeah, I, I love hosting. Um, it's energy. You get out there, mm-hmm. make sure people stay interested. Um, speaking of hosting, on the 24th, I'm hosting a concert. DJ Unk, y'all remember that walking oh, yeah, DJ out? Unk yeah, and, DJ uh, Unk, uh, walk it out, that guy. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's Where gonna at? be at uh, Kananas. Yeah, I might have to What's pack something. I might, Kananas? I might need to get my license to carry. But where's uh, Kananas? <laughs> it's in the hood. Yeah, it, it's <laughs> Central in and Wantabo. Oh. It, it was like a real Mexican. It's like a real Mexican. Yeah, it's up there um, by. It's, like it's Leo's Donald's Junior. Leo's Junior. Oh, okay, that's got what, you. That's got what you. I call All right, got you. But, Those are my you know, people. <laughs> no, I've, I've I've actually done stand up there before, um, so it's a ni- they got a nice sound system and stuff. So yeah, I'll be hosting that. Sweet. Then in October, oh Larry, I don't know this one off the top. This is the one six put together. You'll see the flyers on this yeah. one. This is with. The, oh, uh, that's with. Um, Genuine and no, oh, no, 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 no. This is comedy. Oh, the, okay. the comedian, are you all... me and Jamar, are gonna be on. 
are you guys doing the jokes and jams again or um, what's going on with that? Cause jokes and jams, man, it's we want to. Here but it's like the venue stuff. I literally was gonna say yeah. just a better venue. Nothing against that spot. Ron Sauce is rad, mm -hmm. but for comedy, it's not no, it, conducive to comedy. It, it's, it's really it's a lot of nooks it's and not crannies. It's not filming either. It's, it's, really, it's a lot of nooks and crannies. <laughs> and literally, if yeah. you where you where you're performing, maybe four tables of people can see you. Yeah, if that. Yeah, yeah. and then there's like a whole section back here that can't see you. The bar can't see yeah. you. Like, yeah. It's it's hard there. But we were so gonna try different. to do it at somewhere else on the west side, but like I said, it's hard to get stuff especially here. Right now, Just, we'll well, see. especially now because everyone's like, well, we don't know if we're going down the path of closing again, or you know. Just well, keep I don't booking. think they're, they're, they're not. I, I bet you they're not gonna close the restaurants. What they're gonna do is yeah. Um, they're basic. They're not going to put any more re re restrictions on the That's restaurants. That's true. They said not restaurants. Yeah, because they're going to kill them. So then, but then the the, the breweries that have food, or is, does that fall under restaurants? Then yeah. I think so. Like yeah. Boskan, and like all that stuff. Yeah, none of those places are going to close. Okay. Well, I'm trying to. I'm find keeping this a info booking here. things. All of mine, CarlaVasquezComedy dot com. Yep. Let me see. Uh, I got last year. Where, 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 where? I gotta say this because this was kind of big. Um, six. The October one. Yeah, the six booked this. Comedian, it'll be at Revel. Um, oh yeah, Leeson. Yeah. Um, Let me make sure I get it right though, because I don't want to fuck it up. I think I have it. Hold on. Let me look. Um, I have some idea about running a show soon, maybe doing a monthly thing, but I don't know if it fucking work because my idea is like finding a venue, cool, 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 and then ha having like two comedians in the scene, the three of us put on a show, then mm -hmm. help book it. One of them, if they want to host it, cool. Um, and then we kind of have one more experience, one more less experience, and then yeah. we learn from each other how to run shows and how to like work with different. And then the next month, have two other comedians with me. Does that make sense? Gotcha. So, like yeah, every yeah, yeah. month would be rotating. Yeah, so and you'll rotate. Yeah, it'd be rotating, out, and then I'd get other people getting to know each other, mm -hmm. like have a mix of a scene. I don't know if that would work. Do but, it because no. I have equipment that I can borrow. That Do is. It. That's Dude. like my thing. I it's don't know. It's just a different aspect. I always keep thinking, like you said, it's like doesn't take time because I've been in less than two years, like a little less than two years. I don't mean shit. And uh, don't you mean helped me thing. on that, like, being, don't like nothing. being like, yeah, I can do shit. I'm telling you, know? you the I'm second new, time. But, yeah, I got a podcast. I got. Thank you. Later. Yeah, the, the second, the got, second that? time <laughs> I hit the the second time I got in front of the mic to do comedy was in front of over a thousand people at the chemo. Ah oh, damn. Cipher Sounds was the was the headliner. What? Chingo Bling was the host. Oh, Chingo Bling. Yeah. Oh, what? Yeah. My first, oh. my first show was in November. That one was the very next month. So don't even, yeah. nah, man. People, Time is nothing. You don't need to put training wheels on yourself. Just go. All right, do cool. Because that's most of the time. No. Bugsy's giving me permission, guys. Do <laughs> it, y'all. Do it. Anybody, do everything. <laughs> like, true. fuck that. It's well, true. You're right. If you don't live your life, nobody is going to do That's like for somebody him. telling me, like, you've never been on radio. Why are you on radio? Because I said I can do it. Fuck it. Yeah. If, you, if someone else believes in you, you should believe. Well, well, I'll say it like this. How do you think someone should believe in you if you don't believe in yourself? Exactly. It's true. Yeah. And more now, it's like I'm trying to, how, like, not put my confidence on other people to boost me up. Do you know what I mean? Because yeah, yeah, then yeah. it's like, they don't respect you as much if you're like, oh, yeah. my set wasn't great. And then they're having well, to give you compliments. If you're like, hey, thank you. Then they feel like they well, don't have to boost it. you up. And like, you're already, you know. Think about these people that, that went song. from internet sensations to being known, like booked, doing shit. Like, they're regular ass people. Yeah, They just true. felt like they could do it. That's that's usually what it takes. They kept saying yes. They yeah, kept don't having take yourself cool out people. Of the, in the world and then like again little things happen where you're like you never know where life is gonna lead you like out of the blue i'm like i messaged you guys and i was like hey i want to be on the show let's yeah. talk about some shit let's do it and then yeah two shows later or whatever larry's like hey you want to work yeah. together i'm like what and i'm gonna tell y'all that she's got, the, she's got the most views like you know yeah the, yeah you're, you're, you're when you're on a, yeah oh and anybody that's watching thinks if that's how it works to get on the bs show it don't 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 inbox us. No. <laughs> no, no. no. I was like, I, well, no. I already kind of knew it him. Don't I was like, yeah, it I don't work. Yeah, it don't work like that. <laughs> we get so many people. Boom, yeah, I'm trying to be on the show. Talk some about some shit. Like, talk yeah. about what? Who are you? you and about? we've done that. We've I've actually, already kind of started been getting that. We've, yeah. we've done that. We've had them come on the show, and it's just a fucking shit show. It's bad. Like, like it's, it's just like, like you don't know how to talk. People. No, don't know how to talk. See these. See these. They get nervous. Freeze up. Nervous. They talk more in here than in real life. Yes, interesting. Yeah. Let me get that Looking info people. on that show. Oh yeah, though. what is that, October is, you said? Yeah, so the show is 
Wednesday, October the 20th. Um, it's called the Non-Virtual Comedy Tour, hosted by Tig Wright. The headliner is Jeff Leeson. If you haven't seen Jeff, check him out on uh, YouTube. His improv is dope. His off the cuff is off the chain. Um, that's going to be at Rebel uh, with Jamar Hall and myself as openers on there. So, yeah, nice. check that out. Yes, yes. Um, Go to Rebel, guys. It's awesome. So, venue. what, what um, Six has moved from music to wanting to do more shows, bring in people from out of town because. Like comedy shows? Yeah, comedy, oh, clothes, so. comedy shows. No, because like that. a lot of comics, me and Larry talked about this, they'll do, if they're coming from the West, they'll do Phoenix, Denver. Skip over us. Oh, yeah. Gold. And so, but. We're always skipping with music and yeah. stuff, too. It's like Albuquerque is always skipped. I'm like, what? Well, it's because we don't have a comedy club, which is cool, yeah. but we do have bookers and promoters. Mm -hmm. And if they just knew how cheap it was to bring these people mm -hmm. and bring a mm -hmm. new flavor here, people are going to come. Yeah. People are yeah. going to come. So that's what it is. Starting slowly, like with you, you know, between you, like Troy getting some people in from out of town. Um, we've got like A. Marie now has mm -hmm. like some people. Uh, yeah. Sarah Kennedy, um, Jess Wood just had somebody in town too. So, yeah. like, we've got I've a seen good Jamar. I've seen Jamar bring yeah, people. Yeah, Jamar, of yep. course, is bringing people. Yep. Jamar's doing a lot, you know, at, yeah. uh, at Rebel. He's really up yep. being. I, I thank him for, you know, he's starting to put on a lot of different, mm -hmm. you know, like mixing up the scene a little more, you know. I want to tell you this though, cool. Jamar, you didn't put me on. Stop saying that shit. He, you haven't been on a Rebel show yet? No, 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 no. I'm not talking about Rebel. Oh. We were in uh, we were in Lubbock, and he was telling them uh, he put me on. Like, he was the one. Oh. I was like, no, the fuck you You're didn't. Like, I booked <laughs> no, myself. No, the fuck you didn't, bro. Self-booking. <laughs> Hell no, no. After I was doing comedy, you put me on the show. Actually, you know what was so funny? The first time Jamar, I went to one of his shows. Jamar used to do one at Knob Hill Bar and Grill. Okay. And I, and I would go to watch and I just got started and some comics bombed. I I'm like who do, you know who was who fucking bombed that night? Uh what's his name? Uh Danger. Oh. Danger bombed and I'll never this is why I never forget this. His girlfriend at the time was sitting there. He didn't do good. There's another comedian from somewhere didn't do good and I was supposed to just be there to watch. <laughs> and you know how like again. you know how no I didn't you know how when the person you know is the yeah. booker and they give you that look like you should have been yeah. and I'm like no I was like no uh uh he texts me come on bro you want to do help Save me out here show. cause cause a lot of cause it was like I remember it was two or three comedians they only did maybe two minutes like cut <gasps> their shit short they bailed yeah yeah and I'll never forget because there was this it was some kind of African American, uh, female African American conference. So it was a lot of black women mm -hmm. downtown in Knob Hill. So they were just like, oh, a comedy show, we're gonna come in. Nice. It was not going good. <laughs> and I was like, nope, nope, nope. And he fucking, I ended up doing it anyway. Yeah. But yeah, Jamar, stop telling people that shit. You didn't put me <laughs> fucking on. Self-booker. Nah, nobody oh, did. Fuck no. No, y'all wasn't fucking with and me. And that guy should have just <laughs> booked you from the beginning. Yeah. <laughs> Instead of being like, save my show. I just had to say Danger Bomb on your show. Dang. That's a, since I'm He's back names. in comedy. Apparently. Yeah, yeah. There was an article about him <laughs> in like the journal or something. I don't know. That was an enemy made from uh, Nexus. I don't know him well. We hung he out got mad at like me because of the because of the crowd but... booed him at Nexus, and he swore Jeez. I made them. Everybody's boo. mad at Buck. Oh, <laughs> well, people want he somebody a, to blame when they don't he, do well. Well, like, he they had can't just be like, oh, I suck. He had a a, a notepad on oh, his wrist, really not. and the jokes were on it. And what he was, he start. I ain't gonna lie, he started out all right, mm -hmm. but then you know you get to that point where you're like, oh fuck. You gotta look. And at he your... was like scratching his head trying to read Dude. it. And it's so obvious when you guys do that. I'm sorry. Nexus, it's Nexus ain't so, big. You can't do that. They, you're right on top of yeah, people. You could, I could read your you could, arm from exactly, like sitting in here. Yeah. Like the seats are and right so in they front were, of you. They went in They because he, he came to do one of the competition I threw. Like whoever was the funniest, the crowd said it was funniest, you got 200 bucks. And so he would, he thought, oh, I'm bringing all these people. Yeah. I'm gonna have the most people, I'm gonna win. Right. Oh no, that ain't how it worked at Nexus. Not, that's not how it worked. <laughs> And he got mad because I said, like, I did every show. I said, look, 
act like you spent $1,000 to see Jay-Z and Beyonce. So if they don't make you laugh, you fucking boo their ass. <laughs> and I told them, I, I told them about, about me too. I said, if you ever come here and you don't laugh, and whoever's the source of you not laughing, you boo their ass. Yeah. Because I feel like that builds character with us. Like, mm -hmm. that will make you be like, okay, if I'm going here, I better fucking bring it. Yeah, yeah. This ain't no, this ain't no where I come try no shit out thinking I'm just going to lollygag through. Mm -mm. So from then, that's where he was mm -hmm. like, Yeah, this ain't no open mic. Kidding. Yeah, yeah, he's like, fuck yeah, Buck. Yeah, and then the Fuck notes, Buck and his people. The notes on <laughs> stage, too, it's like... Oh. Some open mics, uh, Okay, well, and sometimes like, if I go mic. to the garage, sometimes I'll have like my phone because it's just like my friends or whatever. And open mic, fine -ish. But if you're doing a show, even last night at the Women in Whiskey, or I guess last week, um, Alex Slim was like the guest, like middle person who did five. And Alex is like, hey... She was like, hey, I have my notes. Do you think it's okay if I like take them up there? And I was like, it's just five minutes. Do you think you could do without them? I was like, yeah. we're, you know, if you put them on oh, the, if you have, I was like, if you have the glass next to your notes, do not hold them. I was like, do yeah. not pick them up. Just if you have to glance down, if you want, need them. But I was like, dude, you, you got this girl. And she's like, okay. And she didn't take any notes, didn't any whatever. And I was like, she's like, thank you for telling it's me not vibe. to. Because you gotta feel it that takes energy. them away from like yeah. the, what's going on. Like they're it not It takes with attention you. away from the comedy is what Yeah, it for well, sure. You, it's distracting. To me, it's disrespectful to the people who came. Yeah, it's disrespectful like, to the people the who paid. You didn't you can't prepare. Remember like your you're jokes. not prepared. You're not. You yeah. don't have something in the tuck that like you going, can use. It's like, like going to a play and having them like reading their <laughs> script out there. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's true. I hate. Well, Wherefore I figured, out, though, Here's Juliet. my thing. Uh. If there's money involved, you should not bring your phone or your notes. Yeah, professional. If the only thing I have That's my, a part of being yeah. professional. Like, and I, it's crazy. I've been on paid shows where comedians come with their notepad. And I'm like, yo. And then... I couldn't do it. There's no way. Like, that would take, that would suck the life out of everything that I would do by coming back to a phone or yeah. a notepad. And, yeah. And usually they do this. They do the age old, they'll tell a joke and they go, oh, yeah, it's crazy. Uh. Yeah. yeah, that's bad. <laughs> oh, like, or, they ah! have, or they start with the phone in their pocket and they're like, I forgot the rest. And then they get out and you wait for them to unlock oh, their screen, find the note. They're like, oh, yeah, this is what I was saying. I'm like, Unless well, there's, like it's a, a difference from using it as a prop. Oh, there's some people. There's, yeah, a, yeah, difference. there's a difference. Now, we're not saying that. I'm saying when you're really. Actually looking at. Because how do you keep your place? Mm hmm. You gotta go back and uh, where was I at? Uh, oh, this yeah. Last so week on Sunday. yeah, no. Nah. Yeah, mm -mm. no. So that's I, a part of yeah, being professional. I think. People try to memorize shit, or else just don't be a comedian. <laughs> or or just come up with you. Do you? you but, like, go. Just don't. Use the fucking crowd. Use also, what's part of around it, yeah, you. Yeah. Before I was like, I had to be so on whatever, and I'll have a joke, but I can make up tags in the moment, or sometimes make up a whole new punchline in the moment. Yeah. Like give myself wiggle yeah. room to kind yeah. of like. Which it comes with time. It really does. I mean, at first you're just like, I need to be comfortable on stage. And yeah. like, I just need to like, whatever. The but. whole laps per second shit. I don't get that. Oh, That's, like 18. That is the dumbest I, fucking thing I've ever heard. I've had people tell me that. And I'm like, seconds what? Seconds per minute or something. I'm not know, thinking wow. about that shit. <laughs> like, I'm not, like, all of that will take away from what I'm. If you're really trying to, to make do. an algorithm out no, of funny. No, it's true. Like, yeah, that's crazy. The more I get in my head about things like that or whatever. You'll the take yourself out of yeah, there. Yeah, the less good. Like, I don't do as well when I'm just, like, doing it, like, what I want. You know, I want to be in the moment with them, but I'm being true to myself. Like, yeah. it goes a lot better. Yep. All yep. right, guys. We really have to ramp this up. Yep, yep, yep. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, because this place is getting ready to close. Huh? They close at five here. Carla Vosky. Oh, yeah. We got to get out so they oh, yeah, can close. Yeah. Guys, come to Slow Burn Coffee Shop. Yeah, this Ethan is a Mountain. nice spot. It's really chill back here. You feel like you're home. About to steal all this furniture. What's the address here? Uh, that's a good question. Ethan either. Mountain. Hold up. Hold up. I got it. Ethan Mountain. It yep, is 821 on. Mountain Road Northwest. There yeah, you we'll go, have guys. It, we'll have it in the beginning of the show. Like the I live one. right down yeah. the road. That's crazy. I live right down the road, too. <laughs> <laughs> Not telling them where. But <laughs> yeah, I know. They was like, where you stay? Yeah. And we're right close <laughs> We already know what's on your car, Come so. Out here. <laughs> <laughs> Listen to 101.3. The, the Hustle. Y'all listen to that shit, man. The BS Show yeah. for more of their work. Yes. Got Larry on there. Yes. Got Six and Buck D. Yes. I've been on a couple of episodes. You'll be back. Yeah, I'll come you're back. All, you're, you're, you're the only name in our Rolodex. <laughs> yeah. Real shit. I have guests. Have I been the only guest host? Uh, yeah. Well, besides... Uh, uh, dollar bill. Well, he wasn't oh, like yeah. a, he, wasn't he wasn't a guest like a host. host. That was like we were trying. He was just to, talking with him. We well, no, he he, he came six. to be a part. He was he was 
our yeah. guest. Yeah. Six got sick, so it was just me and him. Right, but he right, wasn't right. guest hosting. Now, did you see gotcha. uh, Six didn't get the Rona, so that's yeah, good. that's good. Yeah, Shout out Rona, to Six. Six didn't get the Rona. I'm telling you, if we didn't get the Rona between Hawaii, Puerto Rico. And fucking St. Thomas. And by proxy for me. Like, yeah, I'm, I'll yeah. be mad if I fucking got the Rona off of Central in or Albuquerque. Or like, here, be, here off a mountain. <laughs> we, went to all the, we went to all these exotic places just to get the Rona. Just to this, get in our backyard. This dusty ass place. I got the Rona two blocks from my house. Yeah. <laughs> I went to check my mail. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> you tell it. So where have you traveled to? And you tell them, how oh, you didn't get it there? This is the Albuquerque strain. What yes. the fuck? I went to the Bolo <laughs> Oh, yeah. <laughs> Gotta hit the most. All right, guys, this has been a lot of fun. I could yes. talk to you for hours and hours. Yes. And hours. All right, follow him on everything. Buck D, Robert Gibson. So get ready. So I'm going to have you on yeah. the radio, too. I'm going to yeah, bring you on. Yeah, you can the, hear I'm me on 101.3, The yeah, cause, Hustle. Because that's what I've been doing. Oh, so uh, comedians out there, we're, we're, bringing, we're bringing you guys on. We've had You just Zach, had Zach Abeda on, right? Yeah, yeah. Zach oh, was, yeah. by this time this comes out, Zach would have been on. He was on Thursday and Friday yeah, last Friday. week. Um, uh Smitty's been on there. Yeah, I heard him on there. Uh, Ian Todd Jamerson, he'll be on. He would have been on Monday, be, this okay. past Monday. So coming on, um, yeah. For, shit, I don't know. Who else? Yeah, you did. that's what yeah, we doing. For comedians, yeah. What's up? I'm that, that's out, what I'm trying man. to do. So, and also, like, you guys, when you're on the radio, it's, it's kind of like a podcast. You don't have to do your stick. Don't, don't be on there. Just be natural. Yeah, just be yourself. <laughs> but be with energy. It's kind of it's kind of slapstick shit, right? You, you, like you have to be a caricature of yourself. Yeah. That's yeah. that's the only thing that kind of I'll be like, ah. You gotta be a little, you gotta be a little bit <laughs> fake. Little yeah, bit. I, no, hear, I hear you. When like I when you hear have myself, a job, you have to talk in the radio. Like, yeah, when I hear myself, I'm like, ah oh, man, yeah. they need to listen to the podcast, bro. Because <laughs> like, it's, yeah, it's it's a different. It's, yeah. No, yeah, I hear yeah. you. Yeah. But that's the like form. when those that's ladies were like, like you want to? I was like, y'all don't even know. Y'all just hear me on the fucking radio, like. I know yeah. people think that, yeah, it is a job being on different stuff, like to work to be like fit in with that sort yeah, of, you know, yeah. between podcasting, this, doing shows. It's, yeah. a, it's us, but a different version every yep, time, I think. Shit. And people need to know that. Get to know all the versions, all y'all. Of us. Do all that shit. It's, we so layered. Yes, it's a lot of things that keep people entertained. So don't never say, there's nothing to do here. There's no entertainment. I always it's heard that weird. here. It's always some shit to do. Always some shit to tune mm -hmm. into. And stop asking people, what podcast should I listen to? Y'all know the podcast. Listen to our shit. Watch our <laughs> shit. <laughs> yeah. Y'all know what it is. Watch BS. And then you can see on like the BS show and on mine, I think even like affiliated podcast things that you can like, if you scroll yeah. down, you can yeah, see yeah. like the All people in town to watch. Yeah. Just support local people. Yes. Support. With great them. production, might I say. Everyone can't do a podcast because I know if the shit looks fuzzy or cracked out, I don't want to watch it. I love working with I don't a care how, how great <laughs> of talking you do. Like, yeah. Uh, if the, the shit ain't presentable, no. The production can bring you, uh, take you down or p push you up. Yeah. I mean, even my friends, they're like, it's great, you know, but your production's amazing. Yeah, I'm that's like, what, look, look, that's what, dude, yeah. like, the shit y'all be talking about, uh, yeah. but you look good, though. <laughs> you like, sound you crisp. You're in your 4K. Your flyers are yeah, amazing. You're in 4K. <laughs> oh, dude. Larry seriously is a genius. He's a man. That, he's, a man. he's a magician. And Larry's not cheap, goddammit. Don't be trying to hit him up. How many people have hit you up, Larry? Oh, there's been a few. But but there's people time. that's hit our show. I'm like, Larry, yeah. I want to do a podcast. And then... No. No. They don't have happen. it. Like, Never I know what it takes. He knows. Yeah, he knows. So. Hopefully tomorrow I'll be like, well, 10 episodes is your limit, Kyla. And you've got to... And you've got, come to the end of it. <laughs> no, you've got, you've got to have um, persistence. You've got to be... It's got to be a passion. Like, real yeah, shit. It's people think you job. just get up here and just yeah. talk. Right, and just do a thing or like... Uh, a lot of people are just like, oh, can I do a podcast? And it's a commitment. Yeah, it's a commitment. Like, it's... We're going on what a year and a half. Yeah, dude, that's so awesome. Yep. You guys are about to a hundred episodes about almost, to get right? Hun done. Yeah, yep, like three about more. Get that dude, done. heck yeah, we yes. Watch the BS Actually, show. we might have to plan some shit for the hundred. I, I think I'm gonna do some uh, like to, highlight shit. Yeah, yeah, that. it'd be fun. Have See, a few we can different bring guests. some people in. Yeah, Not so all of you motherfuckers. Rotate some guests or something. Yeah, yeah. have some people sitting at the bar and then come yeah. do a little <laughs> shit. Gotta figure something out. We'll do it. We'll get it. Yes, got to. Watch both our podcasts, like, subscribe. You get to 100. How about that? I want to get me to 100. Get to it. Get to Give me 100, 100 subscribers. No, no, no. Wait, right wait, wait. Now, no, fuck that. 100 episodes. Oh, for sure. Yeah, I'm that's down. Funny. 10 felt like nothing. It was wild. I was like, we've already done 10. 100, yeah. 100 for that one feels like it's taking forever. Yeah. <laughs> it's crazy. <laughs> 
because our shit be long as fuck. <laughs> this might be the longest episode we've done. I was going to ask you, is the longest? Is yeah. it? Oh, long. damn. You and Jess I had to make Jess, did I beat Jess Wood? Oh, yeah. yeah, Jess I had was about make, two hours on here. Yeah, I had to make arrangements to have my daughter picked up. Oh, no, no. I got to pick my daughter up. <laughs> All right, it's been a great right, show, guys. y'all. <laughs> We're doing good. We love you all. Like, subscribe, all that yes. jazz. I'm Carla Vasquez. This is your boy, Buck. What's up? Carla V thinks out loud Wednesday, 6 p.m. Mountain Time. See you guys soon. Love you. Bye. See ya. Yep. That was fun. Yeah, time flew.